どのクエストになさいますかお気をつけてクエストリストはこちらです Oh, fuck.
Bro, I'm in the air. How do you? Shit. Finally. Can you guys hear me? Committed. Oh, shoot. Cute. Wait, let me check something. What? 
close this thing in. Let me see something real quick. What the fuck is he saying? Not that zero. What? Check something. It works. I mean, it works perfectly. I don't see no problem. Anyways. Which quest has three monsters? I want to do all the quests that have three monsters inside. Because I have three monsters. I lost my files, love. Something happened. I was I was doing a Ghost of Rack speedrun and um, there were some issues after the recording, which led to me um, formatting my PC. Um, even though I backed up my save files, I don't know what happened, but. Um, Steam doesn't want to restore my data, so I lost my files. I had to replay the game um, again, so yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I lost my save files. Um, that's why I've been away for some time, trying to replay the game for the fifth time. The fifth time, dude. <laughs> the fifth time. Uh, but it's fine, it's fine. Why is it not locked? Ah. She's small. Why does it not explode when I want it to explode?
Can I get that? Let me get that, let me get that. Please, let me get that. Get, 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 get. Nope. Is he leaving? No, he just doing whatever. Oh shit. Come on, I hit I hit when you mount and then and then those um, those silk uh, um, bring back the monster behind. I hate that. I hate when those silk bring back the monster. Like when you mount the monster, and then you finish. There's those silk that. That attach to the monster. I hate those. It, when the monster doesn't attack and they go far, it brings them back in. <laughs> it's it's annoying. I don't like it. Hey, wait, where is he going? Uh, wait, if I okay, I see. The hole here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Other direction. Why does he always do that? Like, he, he kind of ran. And then just like...
Can you guys hear me though? Because it would be weird if I was talking all this time and you guys couldn't hear me. Why do I not... Why do I not lock on the monster dude? Wait, what the fuck? It's in a continuation. Okay. Oh, oh man, the piercing bind. Fuck. <laughs> he took it for me, nice. I hate rise. I don't man, that's one of the mechanics I don't like about rise. How does she speed up like that? You're almost dead. Just man, anyways. Honestly, I hate that mechanic. I always say that I hate that mechanic. Like Instead of just leaping, they start running, dude. Like, 
Were you not leaping like two seconds ago? How are you f going so fast out of nowhere? Nice. What do you want? I hate those guys so... Wait... Wait, what the fuck? Interesting. That's very much interesting. I need to tone down that thing. Let me bring it down a bit. Where's the next one? We did that. There should be. Uh, there should be. Oh, this one. Where the fuck? The one with Diablos, Ratalos, and Magda Malo. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm doing everything for that. Since um, Diablos and Ratalos are literally together, it's it's complicated. It's complicated. It makes things very complicated. It makes it feel complicated. So, I mean, it's, it's, do it's doable, but I mean, I've already done that, but like, it, I don't enjoy doing that. <laughs> Two of them at the same time, very annoying. I was trying, I was doing that yesterday, and they did a combo, man. Diablos roared, and Ratalos did um, his flamethrower, dude, and I died. <laughs> Bro, the timing was perfect. It almost as if they knew before before doing that. Sometimes, just I don't know. Anyways. Wait, I didn't restock. Shit! Oh sh Poor Remo, bro.
się pobawi. How did I not connect it? Yeah. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. And then he runs. Exactly. <laughs> if it was the old MH games, I would have caught up to him, killed him, but in Rise, they run. Brilliant. Yeah. They run. Like, how are you leaping and then run at the same time? How do you have a, break le a broken leg and still run even faster than when you were fine? Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand this mechanic. They run even faster than before. Even though they are beat up. How do you do that? Like, come on. Man, I hate this mechanic. Like. They could have added anything, but this mechanic is annoying, especially when you want to speedrun and you just you just have to reset because well the monster is leaving and of course you can catch up to him because it's rise you can catch up so you can afford to eat that. Oh man. Oh bro. You know what? At that point, let's just do Mizutsune before him. Hopefully she doesn't leave. Break, damn it. Yes, finally. Come on. Nice. Nice. Oh, bro. Everything was perfect. Whoa, what? <sighs> Messed up. 
Should have timed it uh, better than that. Thought it would be enough. I didn't connect it. Oh, why that far, dude? That much? Is she leaving? Is he? Is she? Oh, he's leaving. Please, 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 bon flash, bon flash. Oh no, 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 okay. direction um, here Wait. oh my god you see he is not even running he's walking like freely but then when he's gonna die, he's, he will start to run. <laughs> I don't understand this game. And this one is small as well. This tie work is small. not connect He didn't even touch me. Is he not gonna break? Bro!
How did he touch me? I wasn't even near his head. Just one more piercing by and he's dead. Uh. Then then this I'm not gonna do proof of, proof of is it proof of hero power? Um, I didn't see. I'm not gonna do that. No thanks. After that, do you think there's another apex quest or whatever? We are gonna do all of them anyways. So. Nice, we didn't get the head break. Hopefully, we get the head break. No, nope. get angry. Get angry, man. Anyways, I wanted to get the head break while he's angry so that I can do damage and then get the topple. So, two openings. For the price of one, but it's fine. Oh, actually, wait, what?
Maybe we can use that uh, in our advantage. Nope. We can't. Should be rattles next to us. <coughs> Why did I do that? I wonder... Nope, doesn't work. So, no roar. Now he roars, okay. Detail, my worst enemy. Why do you? Why did he feel the need to fly before? <laughs> He's not discharged. After all that damage. Oh no. way more complicated to get his head than his oh it's so complicated Nice. 
now oh he was this he was small maybe not the gold crown but he was small i didn't feel like he was small though. let me see yeah he he is not the smallest oh we actually found the biggest apex race uh, oh interesting oh maybe they are the events quest because i know that the um, the emergencies are gold crown um, biggest Now comes the best fight in the game. Haha <laughs> Lord. Anyways, um
Wait, what? Anyways. One more quest, I think. That should be. Yeah. No, there's more. Shit. There's one more quest I need to do. It's not gonna be that easy. There's. Oh, there's this one as well. Oh my. This yeah, um, it should be this one as well. Oh god. Not. I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate him, Jad. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> his body is so slim. Like it's—I don't even know how I'm gonna describe it. Like he—he is strangely so skinny. Like everything miss.
Come on. At this distance, come on, man. I'm gonna die if this continues. Oh, bro. I swear if I died right there. You just died, dude. Finally. attack like it's like my friend said this attack has the hitbox of an atom dude <laughs> the piercing bind they need to increase the hitbox of the piercing bind it's too short <laughs> like you miss just for being like one centimeter uh not close enough to the monster it's so weird i don't i don't understand <laughs>
How? I w oh my gosh. How did he even touch me? <laughs> His hand didn't even touch me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. Brilliant. Brilliant. Again, how fast was that? Last time. What the fuck? What the? Dude, what the fuck was going on? I literally did the same quest before live streaming. What the fuck was going on, <laughs> bro? One thing I need to mention, it's been a long time since I've seen um, Xenogre um, transform. It's been a long time. Usually he dies, like, whenever I do a Xenogre quest, he dies before he can even transform. So it's really weird to see him transform, like, I haven't seen him transform in this game for a long time. I haven't seen him. Dude, I, I completely forgot he can even transform. <laughs> and here I let him transform twice, not even once, but twice. Damn. Quest not not interesting. Mm. I'll probably end not end, but I will probably do the USG. Um, USG. No, 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 no. Um, actually, I, I'm gonna do the quest, and after that, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do open lobby. PC open lobby. Okay. I haven't done open lobby in a long time. Especially PC. Usually there's not a lot of people on PC. So maybe on Switch it's gonna be different. What the oh, this again? Uh, there's always frame drop whenever I finish eating. Don't ask me why, I have no idea myself. How how did I move on your side? Damn.
He wasn't even gonna touch me. Ah, uh, anyways. Oh no no no, I need to. Of course. One. Oh, too early. Of course he doesn't touch me. But if I didn't do that attack, he will touch me. No. How? What happened? How? Oh, bro.
two, three. Nope. Four. Nope. Of course. Why? Why am I not getting the double, man? It doesn't make any sense. So this, um, I forgot the names, but it got wait. I forgot the names. Forgot. Let me check it. I forgot the name. Um, no, endemic life. Where is it? Where is it? Cutter fly. It gives fifty percent of affinity. Fifty. But it seems the effect don't last more than one minute. I don't know the time exactly, but it seems because it wasn't one. It was probably above one minute, and the effect disappeared. So it should be below that. Probably one minute, like one minute, one minute, or maybe thirty seconds, something. I should check that later. 50% that's a lot though I highly doubt you can kill a monster in that time I need to... No, 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 it's fine. You can't get me. So far, so good.
please God allow me to do that oh no I wanted to do something interesting but he didn't do the attack I wanted This attack, tell me if he ever touched you with this attack because me, I don't know. It's like he's not even aiming right. <laughs> Poor Apex Diablos. I'm gonna cry. than usual. Okay, what could Pra possibly do? something damn. damn that's the ID that's huge the suppose is zero just to find W 
no 69, but anyways. Take forever users and now we take forever use. So am I gonna use Please. Hopefully he's in the good spot. If not, well, <laughs> just well. Well, not the best, but not the bad as well. Wait, what?
merde. Explosion from behind. I should probably start to heal. I should probably start healing. I should probably start healing. <sighs> healing, the best friend of the of, of the hunter, I guess. Healing. I need to heal. My HP are low. And I need to heal. Well. He needs to hear. Even at the distance. Just play better. <laughs> Lord, I just noticed you. Oh, by the way, can you hear me? I've been asking, like, because there were people, but they weren't responding to me, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. Because um, you remember that um, I had to reset my PC. So the settings will will not probably be the same so tell me if like everything is all right or i need to change anything honestly can you hear just fine okay so they were just refusing to answer me <laughs> there were like 10 people and i was asking how is my voice nobody was responding <laughs> nobody was responding to me because for a moment I thought um, that I was speaking like alone and they couldn't hear me, so they could. Interesting. That's interesting. 
Yeah, um, Shade, I'm gonna do, um, Switch tomorrow. T today, I just felt like streaming. I started by doing, um, you see the quest with, let me show you. You see the quest like this with three monsters? I was doing those, um, uh, for fun. I was doing those for fun. So, I did almost all of them. And, uh, I was like, let's just do an open lobby PC and see like, because... I'm starting to think like maybe I should just remove open lobby PC because there's not a lot of people. So I was thinking maybe I should just remove that altogether and just do switch. But so I went today just to test it. So for example, right now there's barely any people. So yeah, I'm thinking of uh, leaving PC and just focus on switch. I mean. My solo runs I will do on PC, but I won't do open lobby anymore on PC. Consulting in your console and held, yeah, yeah. I sent a message to Dover. I don't know if, at least, if Dover can join me, that would be nice, but um, yeah. Uh, I hate small monsters quest. Let me see. Oh, oh! Remember when you told me to do um, Bazarius? Oh shit! I need to find out what is the issue. <laughs> Bro, I can't even touch it. Okay. Yo! Okay, I know I, I know what I'm gonna do. If I charge this world, I should be fine. Wait, 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 I have bombards here, what the fuck? Why is my damage... Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, I have bombards here. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Yo! Wait, 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 wait. 
What? I have Bombardier. What do you mean? What the fuck are those damage, dude? What? That's all? Am I even wearing an armor? Yes! What the fuck? Finally! How? No, I need to clip that shit. What the fuck just happened? Did you see my files? Dude, how did they all miss? It was weird. Fi wait, 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 wait. Yo, something doesn't make sense. Something doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all. Wait, what? My damage. Something right. Wait, what? Wait, what the f Um, you know how re reasons why I hate bars are yours? <laughs> I didn't know. Wait, what? I didn't know the fires with. I mean, the fire damage are usually the same thing on all monsters. How is it decreasing on him? High defense multiplier. God. You see, I did 97 on him. What the heck? That, that's, that's interesting. I honestly didn't know that. <laughs> Bro. I miss for no reason too. High defense multiplier. Oh, come on. That's far from being what I wanted. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess it buzz how you suck. interesting that's interesting I do less damage no way you should be hit five or so <laughs> Two five four like seven dollars. And you should be eighty five for some. Look at him. Man, he's so ugly. Damn, I oh my gosh. Now I know why you say he's so excellent. <laughs> And I suppose because of his body, Savage Jax is not a good option as well. 
Savage Jack is not a good option. Um, lol. So how do you go about? Wait, I remember I did um something before. Let me check. Like, let me see. Like, I mean, man, Bazarius, Lord. Since he has the heat of his body for his food, yeah, he will show you when he wants to. When he wants to, <laughs> Lord, when he wants to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Savage Axe is literally out of the way. Um,. Damn, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was like that. I mean, I don't I don't even fight Bazarios that much. So, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know that. That's interesting. No, 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 no. No, no boost. Damn it. I hate that. So, you have so you have to ultra. And even if you ultra, it doesn't go well. That's what I call a monster. Rapid is better on him. Uh, rapid is better. Rapid is better on him. Uh, why is this rod taking so much time? Yeah, rapid is better. I haven't made um, the build for rapid fire. Um, I only have spread. Rapid was rapid is better on him. Uh, rapid was better. What the fuck? Yeah, rapid is better. Oh, that's what the entire fight is cool. You face is a bit too. Stand for you. Yeah, like Ross. <laughs> I know. His Ross, man. His I don't know why. His Ross is just... Ooh, his entire face is cool. His Ross. But yeah, I know. I've seen... I've seen... Uh, I've done, for example, two minutes on him with Bo. Uh, it was rapid fire. Um, 
Bo is Bo. I mean, Bo, Bo is still Bo, but like, um, it's a better matchup against him. It's a better matchup against him. Look at the moon. This world stuns you for like a year. <laughs> Uh, but that's true. This roar stands you for a long period of time. I don't think there's anybody coming in, so I will move to something more interesting. Something more interesting. Mm. When people will come in, we will see. change the title later too much work well, let's leave it at open lobby anyways where is the cast ouch my leap Let's move to something more interesting than that. Where is this? Okay, oh shit. Yeah, let's do something more interesting. Fucked up. <laughs> Let's do speed on him. Speed on him. <laughs> I haven't even seen any speed on Bazarius. Nobody is doing any speed on Bazarius. Because, I mean, everybody knows he is just annoying. He's not worth it. <laughs> everybody knows he's not worth it. Any speed on. There's no speed on Bazarius. I mean, there must be, but I don't think people are actively doing that. Because he sucks. <laughs> Maybe in Sunbreak, they will add the um, the ruby, Bazarius ruby. Who knows? That's sure to be fun.
What? Where are you aiming? This buzzer just gave shit, so I don't have to worry about needing to fight him. <laughs> Lol, unlike Alvidron, I guess. This is the complete opposite of Alvidron. Alvidron, well, um, yeah. I mean, Alvidron, you already know. You, if you play Charge Blade, you need Alvidron. <laughs> you need Alvidron. <laughs> Unless you really don't care about uh, Rapid Morph or you find a way to uh, substitute the two, le the two level 2 slots on the piece, the headpiece, then you don't need to. But if you can, if you can, then you need to fight Arbidro. <laughs> you need to fight him. There is no way you can avoid Arbidro. Bro, bro, this frame drop is annoying as fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Almudron is because of the helm. If not, nobody will do Almudron. Nobody will do Almudron, but it's the headpiece. That's the issue. So that's what I'm saying. Like, unless you don't care about rapid morph, and you find a way to substitute those those two level two slots, then you should be fine. Ah. Uh. I still don't see why so many people hate Armijan. Lol, I already explained to you how I, I could I could do Armijan right now, but I don't want to do him. He's pretty damn good fight. Lol. It's not. He is. He is not a good fight, in my opinion. He is not a good fight. Just people need to do not people need to s not skill issue. Lord, it's not always about skill issue. I mean, some pe me I've seen some people destroying Almudron, but they don't like the fights because I don't know me myself. I don't like the fight as well because I don't know it doesn't feel like rewarding or I don't know it. it I don't know his fight is just. It just not it. I don't know why, but I don't feel like his fight is interesting. Like I don't know. It's it's boring. There is no risk and reward. There is nothing like I don't know. This fight is just just meh. That's what I would say. Like for example, fighting you see fighting Magnamalo like there is a lot of things going on. Yeah, not a lot of things going on, but. Magnamaro do something you can wait oh shit I forgot I forgot I switched to axe hopper I forgot like Magnamaro you can block do this that 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 I'm region just there's so much things going on on the same at the same time and also like it just I don't know 
it doesn't feel like I've used a lot of weapons on Almudron and none of them feel feel nice to use on him. He he's just for me he's a bad fight. <laughs> he's just a bad fight. <laughs> he he's just a bad fight. And he's annoying. He he's annoying. That's the main point. He he's just annoying. Annoying as fuck. He's just annoying. Like he does, he his range is literally infinite. You can't be somewhere that Almudjan is not gonna go, not gonna touch you. He's gonna touch you. That's what pisses me off. That's probably the main point that pisses me off. There is nowhere on the map that Almudjan cannot reach you. <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting that I have Axe Hopper. <laughs> I forgot again. <laughs> uh, um, the counter or five frame. Um, Armageddon is the same. People just haven't learned the feel to help mad madness from actual attacks. <laughs> Lol, madness from actual attack. Madness. Lol. I like how you called it madness. <laughs> No, the counter are skill issues. Lol. Like I said, I still don't believe in skill issues. I still don't believe in skill issues because as long as you can beat the monster, not as long as you can beat the monster, but like as long as like you can, not as long as, but like I don't know what I'm gonna explain it, but I don't think it's skill issues. Like I said, it's, it's not skill issue. I mean, it might be skill issues for some people, but not for everybody. Not for everybody. Not for everybody. If I fucked up this one, I will try to do a mission. You will see, but only about twenty percent will actually need to pay attention. He is on the mountain. Usually, the mountain is a good spot, but I don't know. Please. You can hear him. I like how Magnamalu walks and is like the earth is shaking. Was that necessary though? Oh. Fuck's sake! How did he miss? Usually he doesn't miss that attack. Eh? Usually he never miss that attack. That tail attack. He never miss. How did he miss me? He never missed that at that tail attack. How did he miss me? Like I was there, just right there. But he never miss. Magnamaru never missed that tail attack. <laughs> that pillar is just there to telegraph a mod with so close distance and see. Oh shit. The mud pillars, for example, ignore the fact that they don't do it. I mean, I know the mud pillar don't do it. Like. If I can show you some of the shit that happened to me with Armageddon, for example, you will be hitting his head, and out of nowhere, his his <laughs> his tail his tail is gonna hit me from like I'm hitting the back of his head, and his tail is gonna come out of nowhere and hit me from behind. Like he doesn't see me, but then he hits me from behind. I'm like how <laughs> how one time. He he did the pillar. He was far away, like in the the uh, what's the the name of the map? Um, flooded forest, yeah. And he was attacking some people. I was the other side of the map. Not the other side of the other side of the area. I was trying to sharpen, and then I see the mud coming out of the ground. 
<laughs> dude this shit happened so much that's when i knew this guy has no like he has infinite range you can't be somewhere and he won't touch the back of his head the he can't see me i'm in the back of his head his tail touched me i'm and his tail wasn't behind him his tail was in front of him you see the position he has and his tail is in front literally he still touched me from the back of his head brilliant that's brilliant <laughs> brilliant <laughs> genius I, I i after so many things like that i just stopped i just stopped doing i'm i'm like no no thanks yeah he can just go <laughs> he can just go i don't i don't care i, I don't care He can just go, man. I don't care. I, I hate Almudron. I, I just hate him. I just hate him. Not even his fight. I still say his fight is bad. But I just hate Almudron for the sake of Almudron. I hate him. Because he, he made me rage so many times. I just hate him. That's all. I just hate Almudron. Because where's that hitbox? <laughs> I hate this attack so much! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, god damn it. That wasn't sufficient. Nice. A KO again? LOL Nice! Nice! Though something happened Oh, Something happened, I don't know about the recording man Something happened You guys can see it, but something happened God damn it So I'm worried about the recording Nice! Nice, nice, nice! 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 Please, bro, that was the best run. Ah, oh. it's fine. Anyway, something happened to my screen right now. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Like my screen becomes black, and then it comes back to normal, but the frame rate drops like. I don't know what why it does that I have no idea I tried everything it keeps doing that uh, let me check something does it man I don't know right now I'm confused I don't know why it keeps doing that I, I don't know what to do like it goes completely 
you see now my frame rate doesn't even want to go above 60 I don't understand um, I will close the game and come back um, I don't understand man this is so confusing so confusing man unable to sync yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you always see that I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like the frame rate will be nice one minute and then dead another minute. Like I don't know what is going on. Why does it keep doing that? I tried so many settings only because I don't know what to do do I need to re reset the laptop again like what the f I don't understand what do you want me to do what do you want me to do I, I have no idea like what am I supposed to do? Oh God. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Honestly, don't know. If anybody has like knows what I have to do, um, because I really don't know what to do because I don't know why it keeps doing that. It never did that. It's when like I um resetted the laptop that it started. I don't know if like there was a driver that was installed and got deleted. I have no idea. I looked everywhere for a fix, there was no information, nothing. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Why does he have to be that far? Two dogs is better than... Oh no 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 I wanted the second kill Ah, of course Nice, if I can get the paralysis That would be nice as well I was gonna get clapped. <laughs> I was gonna get clapped. That attack was coming for me. And I hate that attack anyways. I hate that attack. I hate that attack. That attack is bad news. For people who just came in, I was doing open lobby but um, no, uh, it was PC, so I understand that there was nobody coming in. So I moved. I moved on. 
uh, but changing the title and the thumbnail is too much work so I will leave it at that but um, but yeah so um, so yeah if you click because um, you thought it was open lobby um, I stopped because there was barely anybody not even barely there was nobody <laughs> Okay, okay. We good, we good, we good. We good. Oh no, we not we are not good. I don't have any wire bag. Oh god. I didn't have any wire bag. <laughs> oh. Wait, what is that? I didn't have any wire bug at all. It's so weird. Like... I mean, Axe Hopper is more damage on the Axe Hit, but... Axe Hopper is more damage on the Axe Hit, but... Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because Magramalo is definitely better with SAD. Uh, no, with counter rather than Axe Hopper, so I don't know. Legit. Bro, there is so much going on. There is way too many things going on at the same time. There is way too many things going on at the same time. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something, something doesn't make sense. Something doesn't make sense. Something doesn't make sense. Oh, hi. OP Gamer, yeah, hi. Something doesn't make any sense. There is an issue somewhere. Okay, okay. Something, something doesn't make sense. Shit, shit, something doesn't make sense. Like something doesn't make. What is happening? I'm looking at the FPS counter and I don't understand what is happening. Like my computer since since like before I resetted it before before all of that I was able to play normally no problem I was able to play stream and record on the same uh, desktop no problem but since I've I formatted the, the PC I have so many issues like literally right now I'm recording and streaming at the same time and my frame rate is stuck at 60 and below it's weird
I'm, I'm thinking what because me I've never used PC before so I don't know what's happening what happened like what what do you guys think is the issue because I I, I don't know what's causing all of that I have no idea, dude. No, like, um... Dude, I have no idea, dude. I have no idea. I don't know what is happening. Because I've never had those issues before. Like... Oh, man. When I formatted, did I delete something important? I mean, it was just a factory reset. The PC itself does it. I didn't choose what to delete. I don't understand what is happening. Maybe, maybe I should call. Because I can't I can't do the Magnamalo run if it continues because my frame rate doesn't increase. It, it literally drops. Because I don't understand man, I'm so confused. And then after some time my screen goes black and then it comes back to normal and my frame rate literally dies for no reasons. What oh, is the first count? This thing or anything is I accidentally limited your frame you say um limiting my frame rate yeah I limited it thinking uh, it's Dover who told me to limit it, maybe it's gonna help. Um, I, I don't know. Um, V-Sync, I didn't activate V-Sync. V-Sync is deactivated. Should I activate it? What, what is the FPS count? The FPS count, it says 70 right now. It says 70. But then, nothing's going on. If I go in a quest, if I go in a quest, yeah, that's what he's saying right now. And then if I go in a quest, it like it literally drops considerably. And there's also like when I'm eating, I finish eating in the the game, my frame rate dies as well for like some seconds. You see. You see, the frame rate is at 60 now. It doesn't want to go up. It's literally below that. Whereas before, it wasn't doing that. It wasn't doing that. Why? Why did I do? Wait, let me see something. Uh, let me see something. Go to NVIDIA control panel, check if there is a driver of data available. Ok. NVIDIA control panel. Um, where do I see that? Um, driver of the system information. Um, I'm in Vidya control panel, but I don't see. Um, you can search up the panel in your search bar. Yeah, I'm inside the uh, Vidya control panel. I'm inside of it, but. Um,
Now where do I go for the drivers? Let me see something. Drivers, device managers, recovery drive. I won't be able to tell you. I won't be able to tell you. Uh, um. Been too long since I've been on PC. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I understand. She just I uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's so weird, man. Maybe if I do that, drop the settings. Because where it is, Lord. <laughs> I tried googling it. Um, I I decrease the settings to 2K, uh, 1440, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. The thing as well, I want to play in 1440 because my PC is able to do, um, 1440, um, uh, in 144 hertz. The problem is, I don't know why, but 1440 on a 4K screen is disgusting. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's ugly. Like, if my screen was, um, if my screen, like, I noticed something. When you, when your screen is Full HD and you put the settings in Full HD, it looks good. If the screen is too, um, 1440 and you put the settings at 1440, it looks good. If your screen is 4K and you put the settings at 4K, it looks good. But if your screen is 4K and you put the setting at Full HD, it looks bad. If you put it at 1440, it looks bad. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is it not looking good? I, I, I honestly don't know why. It's a 4K screen. Then that means that the lower resolution must look good. Why does it look bad? <laughs> it looks bad. So I'm forced to put it at 4K. Because it just looks bad. I wanted a 1440p screen. The problem is the PS5 only supports Full HD and 4K. There is no in between. So you need 4K. If you have a PS5, you need 4K. There is no 1080p. So I was forced to buy a 4K screen. Man, I hate myself. <laughs> I, I hate myself, dude. You see, I dropped the settings at uh, 1440 and my FPS is 144. But when I will increase it, it's gonna drop again. Man, I don't know. I'm so confused. Because it look, now it looks bad, dude. It looks super bad. 
I don't know if you guys can notice that. It looks bad. Even though I know 1440p looks good, I know it, but it just looks bad. It just looks bad on a 4K screen. <laughs> it just looks bad on a 4K screen. Why? Why? Why, man? Why? If I do this, it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, man. I need to find. I need to find a solution to that. To that issue. I need to do something about that. But the problem is, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to Google. Like, I'm gonna Google um, black screen, frame drop. What am I gonna Google? I don't even know. I have no idea what I'm gonna Google for that. I have no idea. Anyways, man. No, not him. If any of you have an idea what to do, please tell me. I would very much appreciate it because I have no idea. No, 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 no. No buff. I, f I forgot I wasn't doing this video. Wait, what? Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks for hanging an hour, hanging around. Uh. <coughs> oh man. I hate this attack so much. <laughs> like she just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> This is like I hate it so much. Like, it's almost as if she just teleports in front of you. <laughs> There's you you can't even evade. You're just there. <laughs> I hate that attack so much. <laughs> you, she just like she just shows up in front of you like that. It's like this this attack is missing some frames, dude. Like she just appears like what? Oh man, I hate that attack so much. It's the attack I hate the most about Apex Region. Almost as if she just shows up. It's so weird. Lol, Apex Region is funny. 
That spinning tail attack is so weird. The bushy armor, I prefer the bushy armor with grace words, not with um. Which side? Oh. How the... You know what? I wanted to do it on the side, not not in front of her. And they come in. The greatest piece of shit. I need to get out. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, motherfucker. Nice. Um, four thirty eight. 
TA TA no buffs nice TA no buffs 438 then if I use buff that means I can do something like 350 maybe if I use buff 350 good RNG 340 but I don't think I can go lower than that with Ibushi I Ibushi doesn't do that much damage it doesn't do that much damage yeah. I feel your pain lord when I saw the Rogi coming in I was like yo <sighs> but yeah that's the build um, critical high dragon attack attack 4 critical boost ex slugger diversion etc etc but yeah not bad TA 438 not bad it shows that my strategy works. Lol. Oh, damn, those fuckers ruin the great apex between a lot of mine. <laughs> I swear. Those little piece of trash. Like, he was gonna do the hip check. And I think I hit his head. And he, he, he got stunned. If not, he was gonna destroy the run. He was gonna mess it up. That piece of shit. Man, they are dog shit. They are just dog shit. <laughs> Those rogues, man, they are just dog shit. But yeah, nice, 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 nice. Nice. 438. The strategy is, um. Uh, I won't say it's simple. Um, basically, I make sure that I get the flinch from where she falls, and then I get the KO first, and then the topple. So I have three topples in total. So three topples equal three openings to do damage. That's the strategy. That's why, literally, if you see the build, the build is. They build the slugger tree and you eat for the food slugger as well. And Raytheon is really weak to slugger. So, as long as you do KO damage, you shouldn't be in trouble. So, that's the strategy. KO, KO, KO. So, it's um, um, Dunk, KO, Apex Topple. Dunk, KO Apex Topple. Dunk KO Apex Topple. Until she dies. Until she dies. Dunk KO Apex Strikes, give him some glow vibes. Oh god damn it. I flinched him. How 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 did he touch me? He finished his attack. How? 
Wow! Man, demon flight sometimes. You you wonder. Okay. Oh, come on. Come back here. Ah, he left. Oh. Well, the sub five is dead. <laughs> Lol. I should have just done demon flight. Nice. Oh, five minute TA. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. I mean, I was barely able to stop him. Um, I was barely able to explode him. I was very. The first one we flinched him. The second one we did. The third one we failed. What do you have those? No, no, no. Um, those do you that are a mod. It's a mod. It's a mod. It's a mod. Is they are not really in the game. It's a mod. It's a mod. Dova. Dova is here. Dova, will you will you be able to join me? Will you be able to join me, Dova? If you guys want, I can do the open lobby. It's just like, I did, but nobody came, so I just stopped it. But if people want to join, I can, I can, I can, um, re-put it back on. If you guys want. Depends, but, no, I'm not home, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Okay, then let's move to the next one. Did you just woke up and went out? <laughs> how do you just woke? How? Anyways, I'm, I'm not even. When it comes to you, Dover, I prefer to not ask questions. Um, 
Wait, what? You just woke up and went out. Yeah. Let's do the crimson. F um. Wait, I thought. This is for okay, guys. It needs to be forever useless and forever useful. Nice. Drink the thing. Uh, there is a special way to stop this Valshrax from because this one has a lot of HP and there is a special way to stop him with dual blade but it requires a lot of skill and timing it requires a lot of skill and timing like you need to put the piercing bind early enough early enough that when you do enough damage it's gonna explode at the same time he charges and most of the time when I do it
most of the time when I do it, what happens is that it explodes too early. That means I was way too early. Or it explodes too late. It's it. And he's charging. He kills me and then charges. Smart. Smart. Smart of him. Lord. Smart. Uh, I've already done five minutes on this quest. I'm trying to do four minutes without um um without heroics because I know it's possible. Uh, where is this thing? It was in Event West. But of course, I'm not taking any uh, demon drug or whatever for the moment. It's not actually a run, so it's not it's not a run. Sage, sa sad or stage, sad, sad. Love. Um, he's funny though. He killed me and then proceed to charge. No. That's smart. The thing is, it's how to stop him. Like it it needs to be timed, dude. Like it needs to be timed. I need to put the piercing bind. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, his face. Now. No, too early. Oh. early it's like you need to know exactly that he's gonna reach out and then put the piercing bind and start doing the combo and when he does it explodes it's so timed it's it's a lot of skills to do that like I'm able to pull it off for probably like one time like literally once like it needs to be timed Especially early like this in the run is complicated. Trying to time SAD to it. No, doing the SAD is easier. Timing the SAD is easier to do. The piercing bite is way too complicated. Because the piercing bite itself has a timer. There is a timer on the piercing bind. Lord, never did that. Lord, for, for the SAD, all you know is that he's gonna recharge. Put yourself in front of him, do the SED. For the piercing bind, you don't do an attack. You need to put it inside of his chest, do a combo to increase the damage, and right when he recharges, it explodes. So if, like, without that explosion, dual blade don't do enough damage. So it's literally the only way to stop this Valtrax. The other Valtrax you can. But this Valtrax is the only way to stop him. You need to do that piercing bind. You need to do it. If not, he doesn't stop. GRB doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. It's so complicated. It's complicated. I'm trying so hard. Like, uh, Usually, I put it too early, too late. Uh, I don't even know.
Bro! <laughs> Bro! Sometimes I wonder. The, the German flight is so weird. Like, one thing I like about Rise is that Rise is precise. And it's also one of the things I don't like about Rise. It's too precise. Rise is way too precise. It doesn't do like um, you were close enough so it's gonna hit. Nah. Rise is way too precise. Is it needs to hit. If not, it doesn't count. That's what the rise does. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't count. <laughs> because on this huge body of this Vashrax, I didn't touch him. Dude, that's crazy. On this huge body, the game is gonna tell me I didn't touch him. Oh. <laughs> Well, the rise is way too precise. Sounds like 200 attempts that proper DB timing. Lo isn't has an easy time with that, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some weapon has easy time. For example, Great Sword has easy time. It's just for dual blade. Just you need to time it. They think it's F. The the attack of the dual blade is like a timer itself. So now you need to put both timers, Valshrax and yours, together to make it work. Did he change direction? He's gonna recharge after that. Oh fuck! Oh, I got the mountain. Oh. There's also the mounting factor. Like I need to get the mounting before that. If I can get the mounting, that would be much appreciated. There's the mounting factor as well. I thought I would do that. I mean, the run was already fucked, but anyways, that's why I wanted to do this thing. Um, man, I wish you could disable Wyvern riding. <laughs> yeah, uh, Wyvern riding. Like you need, and this is the best. Um, how can I? The best scenario. Riding first. He's trying to because if I get the riding. You can actually, like some people don't know that, but you can actually f um, force, not force, but like, how can I say, make timing Valstrax recharge um, easier by making him do certain things. If I get the mounting f uh, early, I know for sure when he's going to get up. He's gonna try to reach out so I can put the piercing bind 
do the damage as soon as he get up he charges he explodes that just just how it is like I just need to get the mounting early. If I can get the mounting early, I will be happy. I will be more than happy. I just need to get the mounting early as early as possible. As early as possible. Oh. Yeah, full power, full power. So far the opening wasn't bad was good the opening was good this, this that opening was good actually that opening was good I've never gotten that opening before I never gotten that opening before I can guess when he charges first time but all the other time is a completely enigma to me um yeah like I said you can actually um force him into doing um the charge you can force him um you said charge blade so i suppose i will give you a strategy that you will use and you will see you will be able to time it first charge you said you can time it good when when you stop him the first charge what does he usually do what does he do when you stop him the first time what does he do as soon as you stop him the first time what's the first thing he he does after that I forgot lol. Usually, not even usually, but all the time. If you stop him the first time, lol. No, he doesn't charge again. When you stop Valstrak the first time, he's gonna do the ambush. He's gonna do an ambush. When he does the ambush, go for the KO immediately. Be fast. Go for the KO as soon as possible. When you do that, because it's a timer the clock for him to which I will be spent inside of the ko as soon as he gets out of this turn he will charge again and you can time it yeah an aid on the face when he finished the ambush don't do it when he's going to do it when he comes back from the ambush go for an aid on the head he's gonna be ko as soon as he gets out of that ko he's gonna recharge a second time and you can stop him you can be prepared to stop him. That's how it works. Let me try. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see. Um, depending on where he is. Lava cavern. Okay, it works. Lava cavern works. I don't want a bad spawn. Lava cavern works. It works. It works for me. I will show you. Oh shit. Um, give me a second. I need to actually do I even I ate I ate for something else um but it's not the problem it shouldn't be it shouldn't affect too much it shouldn't affect too much I ate I didn't eat for bombardier so but it shouldn't affect too much our damage is still gonna be low but we can we can make it we can make it more, we can we can make it work shit I don't know what's happening. We can make it work. Oh. Damn. Okay. So, let me show you.
How? Did he? Did he just move me? That's why I was afraid. That's what I was afraid. Our damage is not good enough. That's what I was afraid. Our damage was not good enough. Interesting. No, 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 no. no. Um, like I said, I didn't eat for Bombardier, so our damage wasn't good enough. I didn't eat for Bombardier. Let's let's eat now for Bombardier. <sighs> Man, it's annoying like more than what? More than 10% of Charlie's damage come from a food skill. That's messed up. That that just messed up, man. That just messed up. More than 10% come from a food skill. So if you don't get the food skill, it's dead. It's over. You can't do anything. Oh, the slam miss. Yeah, the slam miss. I know. It's weird. Like, how? How? Man, you know, there are some things you shouldn't question it. You just let, you just let it happen. You see that? Um, now, I will show you. He's gonna do the ambush after that. He's gonna do the ambush. Look. Look at that. Wait. Give him some time. Wait, what? What the fuck? Usually he does the ambush. What the fuck? Anyways, the strategy doesn't change. Let me just get the KO real quick. Duh, this was a bad example. This was a bad example. Usually he does the ambush. That's the first time it happened. Usually he does the ambush. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he wasn't even looking at me. He was attacking the remove brass. Lol. He wasn't even attacking me. He was attacking the remove brass. That's the remover my guy was going for. Maybe that's why he didn't do the ambush. He wasn't even attacking me. Something else, something else, um, it wasn't me, it was something else who, who um, enraged him, it wasn't me.
Oh. He did so early. Man, this shows how much I haven't done Vashrax in a long time. Usually that used to be so easy for me. I haven't done the guy in a long time. If I can get also a better spawn. I want him in the other open area, not that side. But the other side. Nice, 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 nice. The game heard me. Hello, the game heard me. <laughs> I prefer this side. The other side, usually Rakna Kadaki comes in and disturb the, the run. But this side, there's barely anybody. This side is perfect. How is he not enraged? Nice! Nice coming back, little by little. Ambush, you see? You see that? Now he does the ambush. Yeah, the other time it was the remove brass. It was the remove brass. Now you go for the AG. Oh. I can't kill. Fuck sake. I'm trying to kill. Anyways, anyways, normally this is how it should go. <laughs> normally you, you kill, you kill him and it spend the time inside of, um, so the whole time he did right now is going to be spent inside of this turn. So when he gets up, you just do the kill. You just um, stop him, basically. You just stop him, basically. Because I'm 90, because I've speed done the team many times. 99, not 99, 95 percent of the time, when you stop him the first time, he's gonna do the ambush, and you just go for the KO. And he's gonna after the KO, he's gonna recharge a second time. You stop him, and then the third child, the third time is really complicated. The, I noticed that the third charge, uh, the third charge, is a lot like. You need to do a lot of damage. Usually, the third charge is the damage that um, that is the problem on the third charge. Because I speed run with uh, my team, and the third charge, even with four people SAD, the third charge was complicated. The third one needs a lot of damage, a lot of a lot of damage to stop him the third time. It, it's a lot of damage. How to get Kimetsu no Yaiba Tengen? It's a mod. Oh, you are talking about that. Let me give me a second. He's probably talking about that. Um, it, it's a mod. It's a mod. Um, I'm 
It's a mod. The Tengen's Dual Blade, yeah, it's a, it's a mod. They are huge. <laughs> they are huge. <laughs> they are huge as fuck. Um. From no, 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 it's it's a mod, like it's a mod, it's a mod, it's it's not real, it's not real, it's not in the game, it's a mod, it's a mod, like, um, if you see, wait, it's it's a mod, it's it's not real, it's a mod. It's a mod, yeah. I know it's unfortunate, but yeah, it, that's how it is. I I would have wish maybe um I mean Capcom used to do like a lot of um event quest with animes and they did with Jojo, they did with Ushi Ushitora or whatever. They did with different anime and with the popularity of Demon Slayer, I thought they would do something like sooner. Especially with Rise and all, but they did not, so... It's definitely not in Sunbreak they're gonna do it. <laughs> Rise was the best game for them to do it, and they did not do it, so... I highly doubt they are gonna, they are gonna do it. I mean, what... <laughs> uh, what did they do, Jojo? Yeah, 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 they did Jojo back in... Uh, for You, Most Hunter For You Ultimate. Yeah, they did Jojo. They did Jojo. Like they used to do Zelda, Mario, Jojo, Ushitura, even Maggie. They did Maggie, they did um They did even some other anime I don't even know. They did Fairy Tale, they did um I, I don't know why they stopped. They just stopped. They just stopped. It's it's I, I don't know. It's for them. It's not to me to figure it out. It's for them, not me. That's the issue. That's the issue. I mean, what can I see? Oh, no, 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 I hate, uh, I hate taking buffs, um, I hate taking buffs, um, I wanted to take demon, uh, dash juice, but I end up taking the I end up taking the demon powder. I end up taking demon powder. I was supposed to take dash dash juice, not not. Oh, now he's in the bad spot. Nice, nice. He was in the good spot. No enjanat, nothing. Now he's he's there. Uh, now he's there. Yeah. I'm going to imagine that the layer equipment is more to Yep, 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 yep. How? Oh. 
how did that not touch him? The game, how did that not touch him? You see, that's what I said, he's gonna leave. This spawn is the, the worst one. He always leaves when he's in this area. He will leave. I'm not doing a speed run. If not, I will have um, abandoned. Because he just wasted my time. How? Of course. Of course, brilliance. Come back to life.
Ah, that was bad. I mean, there was the spawn as well, but overall, even myself, I played, I played very badly. That's on me. Where's the absolute best place to fight regular Varshraks in your opinion? The best place to fight Varshraks? I would say there's only two places. Two places to fight Varshraks. There is the Shrine Runes here. In this area, it's area 10. Um, Shrine Runes area 10. And the uh, Volcano. Um, the area that we fought Varshraks in the volcano and uh, we uh, like we were able to to stop him like he did the ambush and all if you saw that yeah is the two best place to fight our tracks and maybe actually in the volcano there are two places there are two places but I don't know I don't know those those area by name yeah shrine runes is era 10 definitely here era 10 all the other locals are bad especially flooded forest Flooded forest for Vashrax is very bad because most of the time he is in the far area, like very far. That's where he is. It's too far, too far, too far to go there. So let me let me show you. So it's either um, shrine rooms area 10 or um, volcano. Um, I forgot the name. Let me just do them and I will show you. Oh, look at this mod. Can you guys see that? My character looks like a Wyvarian. Even the legs and the hands, same thing as Wyvarian. Even the ears. Lol. Um, but let me show you. Let me show you. Slugger, no. Yeah, next to... Yeah, next to the Axtel Pyramid. Very far, yeah. We wanna perform the best. Lol. Yeah, that area is just too far. I mean, in a speedrun perspective, um, perspective, in a speedrun perspective, is way too far. Yeah. The best place to fight Varshrax in the volcano is area 3. 3 and uh, this area here. I will show you. Um, the best place to fight Varshrax is uh, in volcano. So you have area 3 that is just in front of us right there here because it's big and no monster will come to disturb you it's just you and Vastrax. the second area is here this area right here down here because there is the water trap you can use that to drop his HP some people use that in their speedruns yeah so it's only those areas so you have volcano and shrine rooms as best locals and inside of them shrine rules area 10 volcano area 3 and uh, i don't know the name of this area let me check and area 6 so it's area 6 so you have area 3 and area 6 i remember because i managed to get sub 7 with sns nice so runes area 10 volcano 3 so runes are 10, volcano 3, and that one, yeah. Yeah, they are the best one, the best one, by far. They are the best one by far, to fight Vashrax, the best one. I mean, if you watch a lot of speedruns, you will see that they, are, they always do the speedrun inside those areas. Always inside of them. Thank you. 
wide. If I've seen a lot of them even do them in this area. This Russia said, Is this a. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my favorite to play GS4. Yeah, it, it's Valfrax. Is it? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I too didn't know that. It's someone in my comments who told me that one time. Because I used to not do it, and he told me you can actually do that. And I was like, oh, okay, let me try. And it works. <laughs> it works. That's fun. It works. Oh man. Which monster have I not done yet? I've done this one, this one, this one. Mm.
Oh yeah, is the rock version. Wait, he's already out of it? Whoa, that was fast. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, that's what I said. Rise, rise is really precise. You can't, you can't fool, you can't fool the game. You can't fool the game. So, in the game's opinion, I missed. And I actually take that. I think I missed. I actually take that. I missed. I missed. I will I, 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 I will actually take that. I missed. This one I will let it slide. I missed. I missed. Yeah. Yeah. Rise is rise is uh, very precise. If you miss in rise, it probably means that you missed. You probably means you missed. First, I did the same thing, and this time I succeeded. Yeah. Yeah. Rise is really precise. There is no I was close enough or things like that. Either it touches or it doesn't touch. That's how it works. Oh my god, what the fuck? I 
I'm dead. Oh. Um, I was working as Nintendo, I see not the worst kind of figures, the world has the rest of that as well. Yeah, in words, in word it was the issue. In word it was the issue. In Rise, nah. In Rise, a lot of, a lot of attacks are like this, in Rise. It's because in Rise, one thing I understood is that Rise is really precise with the hitbox. Really precise. Like, there is no, I was close enough. Nah, nah, nah. It either touches or it doesn't touch. There is no in between. Rise is really precise. So, if you miss your handbreaker, it probably means you missed. You, you actually missed. There is no, I was close enough to the monster. Nah. You need to actually land it. If not, it doesn't count. And shit like this happen a lot. Like, um, the charge blade, same thing. Dew blade, same thing. Like, like it's it just... That's how they made the game. So, you actually need to deserve... You actually need to deserve, like, um, I don't know, the damage or whatever. Like, the hitbox in Rise is insane. It's really, really, really precise. Like, it's so small. It's so small. Very small. Anytime you go to school, you have an exam tomorrow. So <laughs> a lot. Um, good luck to you on your exam, man. Um, good night as well. I was about to end even, but yeah, good night. Good night, uh, good luck on your exam. Hopefully you get an A. Now, I know you will get an A. You will. You will get an A. Lord. I mean, call is 20 points here. Oh, yeah. I mean, 20 points. Me, sometimes it's 100 points. I mean, it depends on the exam you have, though. And the, the course, but yeah. Lol. Lol. So, 20 points. Well, then, you better have 20 points, then. <laughs> you better have those 20 points. No points left behind. Um, I just had the stream on in the background, lol. So you were here, shit. Shit was here, lol. He was here this whole time. Oh, I know this quest. This quest g gave me the cheese. The worst monster you can possibly imagine together in the one quest. The worst one you can possibly imagine together in the world in the one quest. I hate that quest. <laughs> Super shit. I this no wait, wait, wait. yeah this Nagakuga has a lot of HP compared to a normal Nagakuga. And this he has a lot of HP compared to normal Nagakuga. This one because there is two. Don't don't uh, fool yourself. There is two. There is Beast of Shadows. It's a normal Nagakuga, but this one, this one, dude. The first time I fought him, I was expecting Nagakuga, and the fight went to 5 minutes. I was like, wow, this Nagaka has a lot of HP, he has a lot, compared to the normal Naga, he has a lot of HP. He has a lot of HP, that piece of shit. Super Juluka has more health and slightly, yeah, 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 and slightly faster, yeah. This one, he is something. Like, I still remember the first time I fought him, I died. I was not expecting him to be any different. And then I got surprised. <laughs> I got surprised. 
I was not expecting that. Oh man, that Nagakura was it's something. Super shady look like. I love that quest. If only just put the gear open, like it. Oh, my favorite swing the real tracks of all time, Lord. He's too small. He's too small. Damn it. I can barely do the aerial combo. He's too small. He's way too small. Look at them. Do you see the. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Those piece of shit. I told you, like, small monsters come in when the monster doesn't move. Like, if you stop the monster from moving, that's when they enter. Oh, damn it. You see, they came back again. How did I miss? Ah, too far. Bruv. Shit. I didn't heal? Yeah, he's fast. You see, he has so much HP. He's not even near death, dude. After all this beat up, he's not even near death. A normal Nagakura will be dead by now. A normal will be dead. This one's still alive. How much HP? Can someone check Kiraniko and tell me what's the maximum HP they can get on this quest? Let's 
Wait, oh my gosh. One thing with Dual Blade is overcommitting. If he was bigger, that would be nice. He's too small. Nice. Five minutes, you see? Five minutes. Five minutes. Dude. Five minutes. What was the time I did on the normal one? The normal one I did like two minutes. But five minutes on the on this one. Damn. <laughs> this one is a piece of work. Damn, how much HP does he has? Like that's way too much HP. They need to turn it down. <laughs> and he was small. That's what is nice. That means I probably got um yes, he was small crown. He was small crown. Nice. Here's a small crown. Eighteen thousand Max Roll. That's the Teos that's the Teostra HP dude. Eighteen thousand. Bro, <laughs> that's a lot of HP. <laughs> Whoa, what? Mm, for context, normal HR max HP is seven. Oh, bro, dude, dude, that's insane. Why does he have so much HP, dude? I mean, it's an even quest. Even quests are supposed to be like that. But damn, that's way too much. <laughs> I mean, that's the most interesting that Gakuga fought. Damn. What are they gonna do in Sunbreak? In Sunbreak, we're gonna get what? Emergency... Um, emergency Marzino or some shit like that. Hopefully, Marzino doesn't have... What would be shit is that if Marzino has a healing mechanic, a emergency version of him would be would be bad. It would be very bad. I hope Marzino doesn't have a healing mechanic. Lord. I wanted him to, but after fighting um something, oh shit is here, so I can't see much. But like, it's healing mechanic is just not good. <laughs> <laughs> Healing mechanic is not good. It's not good. Healing mechanic is not good. So, yeah, just nah, nah, nah. no healing mechanic, please. Unless his armor has a healing mechanic, then I'm in. How did I miss? How did I miss?
Oh, come on. My guy is the Elden Ring boss now with the delayed attacks. Bro. Oh boy. Uh, this is this is the anti warrior fall. Every monster in Rise has that. A anti warrior fall move. Every monster in Rise has that. A move that will kill you either if you use warrior fall or if you don't have the ability to do warrior fall basically. I like to call them combo moves. That's how I call them combo moves. Magnamalo, for example, will take you and throw you in the air and then do the explosion below. So if you don't have waterfall, you're dead. Um, Azurus, you, you guys saw that. Um, Apex Azurus, him, if you use waterfall, you're dead. He has the double paw combo. So if you use waterfall, the second one is gonna kill you. <laughs> Um, normal Xenogre <laughs> has triple combo. <laughs> all monster, um, all of them have those type of things. All of them, they have that. All monster in this game have an entire waterfall combo. This is what it is. Are you still in lobby? Not currently, I believe. Nobody was showing you, so he decided to do some stuff. Let's go come back to you. I don't think she understands. I love that so much. I'm for some online hunts if you decide to go. Okay. If you want to, we can go back. If you want to. If you want to, we can go back. If you. Wait. Uh, what? How did he jump and then fell at the same spot? What the fuck? I mean, at that point. Um, yeah, um, Savior, if you want to join, let me get things right up. Um, anyways, dude, what the heck? Um, is already on six, seven, eight. Okay, I can do that. Um, create passcode. Any language. Uh, let's take um, six five. Oof. Um, Savior, if you want to look, because typing is just annoying. 
Um, I put it on the screen if you can watch it and type it in. Error Dubit was such a. Dubit was actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, me, I still hate it. <laughs> I still hate Demon Flight. <laughs> for many reasons. It just. For example, when me and Dova were doing the uh, Devostra run. I mean, I was. I will say the truth, Dew Blade in Rise is really powerful. It's really powerful as long as you can pull it off. It's not powerful in the sense that it does damage, but the iframe on Demon Flight is insane. They, but there is a downside, there is a price to pay. But I didn't know this was PC. LOL. LOL. It was PC. <laughs> LOL. It's fine, it's fine. Um, the Demon Flight have a downside to them. Basically, you only have the iframe when you pull it, you do the demon flight on the attack. Basically, first of all, you need their conditions. You need to connect with the monster to iframe. That's the only condition. If it doesn't connect, it doesn't count. You will get hit. So, basically... So, um... Now, the downside of it is that once you are in the air, you are vulnerable, there is no more iframe. So if something happens to you mid-air, you're gonna take it. You can't move mid-air, you can't evade, it just happens. <laughs> you have to eat that thing. So that's the only downside of Demon Flight. So you need to... How can I say it? Like, You need to be careful, that's the only thing I can really say, you need to be careful. <laughs> Because if you're in mid air, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. If, if the monster is gonna attack, it's gonna attack. And you will eat it. There's nothing you can do. So it's complicated. And also, Rise, like I said earlier, Rise, the hitbox on moves in Rise is really precise. Like, if I can show you guys some clips of how I missed Demon Flight, you won't believe it. It's like. Like. You need to be so close to the monster, like it needs to connect, really connect. Like for example, um, the big uh, Valstrak, the big one, I missed a lot of Demon Flight for no reason. Even he's so big, but I still missed. How? I, I don't know. I, I myself don't know. How I missed? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's so weird. And oh, man, it, it, that's why... And I will always say that Demon Flight is the only way to play Dual Blade in Rise if you want to do damage. If you don't want to do damage, you can do whatever you want because Demon Flight. Let me show you guys. Um, uh, let me show you guys. Uh, let's take. Let's take. No, I want 100%. Of affinity, what weapon has a lot? This one. This one can work. It has a lot of affinity. Um, I'm gonna read the chat. G give me a second, guys. I'm gonna read it. Give me a second. You see that? I'm gonna do one combo. One thousand thirty-eight. That's one combo of the Demon Flight. 1038. Now let's take. Uh, Where's the other one? Demon Flurry. You see that? You see that? 999. <laughs> it just. Demon Flight. And also look at that. Like. Let me show you guys something about Demon Flight. First of all, Demon Flight gives you mounting damage. Mounting damage. And, man, it just, there's so many things that make Demon Flight so strong. That's what I'm saying. Like, Demon Flight is similar to Counter Morph Slash on Charge Blade. It's so strong compared to the other one that there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You just have to use it. That's how it is. He said he will do PC solo run, but thanks to this stream, we play only Switch for multiplayer. Let me just say he will only play Switch for multiplayer. Yeah. 
Your eyes really do be that more so you can wait you don't understand how shit is <laughs> hitting. Uh, I feel like a lot of weapons go demon flighted when they just get one to combo with those dummy DPS and so the situation. Yep. Another question how that didn't hit and take damage once it damage. Oh right, the next time he is streaming switch I'll be joining should be tomorrow. Yep, yeah, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow we do switch. Should look away man was just demon fight him oh lol. Yeah, de demon fight is demon fight man. So yeah, it's it's the same a lot of weapons are like that, like um um Dual Blade you have Demon Flight and Feral Demon Mode. D Feral Demon Mode increases your attack for free. And Piercing Bind and Tower Vault. Tower Vault doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't even know who uses Tower Vault. I don't even know. Dude, I don't know. Look at something, guys. Look at something. Like, let's be honest. Let's Let's be honest right now. Look at that. This is piercing bind. Six hundred and seventy six in damage. Six hundred, six hundred in damage. And then, do you want to trade it with? This is what the game is doing. Do you want to trade it with this? This is your trade. <laughs> you trade 600 in damage for that. F just for that. Just for that. Seriously. Seriously. Let's be honest. Like, what the fuck? 600 in damage for that shit. It it's not even a choice. <laughs> this is what I was saying, like, the switch skills is just to to appeal to people. Like that's not even a choice. Of course I'm gonna take piercing bind. Of course I'm gonna take it. <laughs> like ah. Oh, anyways, man. That's why I'm happy that in Sunbreak they added the other one, the the one that spins. I'm happy because <laughs> it should be too. <laughs> Trade off, I get one wire bug, you get demon flies, but with no damage and no iframes, lol. <laughs> lol, I swear, I don't know, I don't know what's the utility of demon flies, of Dowered Vault. I don't know. In the general, the thing about I think you can... I mean, if, look, look at something. What's the point of doing this? Oh, wait, let me show you. Like, what's the point of doing, of doing this, when you can do this? It's, it's the same thing, but one is faster, and one does more damage. Because when I do this, there is more combo. When I do this, only one combo. You, just, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, who... Like, sorry guys, it was too, it was too loud. Um, who in the development team had this idea of Tower Vault? Who? Honestly, who in the development team thought this would be useful? Who? Honestly. Because I see no use of this thing. Honestly. Uh, I, I don't even know, like... Uh, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad. Uh, Tower Ball launches a wire bug up world with it. The action does not do any damage. Look, they even say it. This action does not do any damage, but allows you to move through the air in the most cases with your weapon drawn. <laughs> they even tell you it doesn't even do damage. Oh my god. So why? 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 So what was the point? This action doesn't even do damage, but allows you to move through the air. Brilliant. Genius. I need to know the name of the guy 
who had this idea. I need to know his name. I need to know his name. <laughs> because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, I've, since Rise release, I've been trying to figure out a utility for this tower vault and I've, I haven't found anything. There is no utility for it. Rise just has so many work design decisions that make no sense. <laughs> Honestly, like, <coughs> man, I don't. This whole switch skill thing is just to appeal to people. Like, let's because most switch skills you equip them and you never equip something else. Let, let me show you guys. On charge blade, what is nice, you can have condensed elemental or spinning, whatever mod you want. You have peak performance and axe hopper. Fine, these one are choices, good choices. But morph slash and counter morph slash is a no brainer. You take counter morph slash because counter morph slash allows you to block in axe mode, it allows you to, it increases drastically your damage, you have a longer guard point period. Compared to it, Morph Slash is literally dog shit. <laughs> so I'm like, why not just like give us counter Morph Slash and forget about Morph Slash? What? Uh. Let's take Long Sword. Long Sword. You have the double, the draw double slash and step slash. There's barely any different. Apart from that, this one has a weird shield. I don't know why they gave it that, as if Longsword wasn't OP enough, they gave it whatever. <coughs> um, Spirit Reckoning and Spirit Run Slash, you choose whatever you want. Soaring King and Sakura, like, this is the, the part. Soaring King is so much stronger, nobody uses things by Sakura Slash. <laughs> nobody. Nobody used that. I will always say that. Like, the whole switch skill thing is just to say something is new in the game. We didn't need that. It's just to make the game look good. There's, there's barely any changes. Barely any. Apart from some certain weapons. Honestly, they could have released the game with counter morph slash immediately. No need for morph slash. But they, they were like, you know what? Let's make switch skills and make it in the trailer. It will look cool and yeah it worked i guess <sighs> <coughs> so many do best use this lord maybe for large monster like now uh, i mean even now uh, you use demon flight let me show you i mean it's the same thing L let me show you it's the same thing tower vault same thing demon flight you do this and you spin on the back. Same thing. Now you do this. Lol. You do. Oh, damn it. It's, it's the same thing. Demon Flight does the same thing as Tower Vault, but better and faster. Because Tower Vault, one of the things that you jump too high is way too high. Demon Flight, you just do that. But Tower Vault. <laughs> It's just useless, that's all. It's just useless. Um, let me show you guys. Um, Great Sword. Great Sword is probably one of the rare weapons that actually have nice switch skills. You have True Shark Slash or Red Slash. Both of them are good and useful in situations. You have Hunting. Okay, Hunting Age is kind of useless. I will say that. <laughs> Adamant Child Slash is the better option. Um, Guard Tickle. Guard Tickle has used it, but it's bad. Let me show you guys why it's bad. Let me show you. This is why the Guard Tickle is bad. Um, let me show you. Like, let me show you what happens to your sharpness. This is what happens to, guard, to your sharpness when you do... Ah, oh, god damn it. Wait, how do you even do Gartical? <laughs> um, okay. Um, 
God damn it. This is this what happens to your sharpness? I need to be close to him. You see the sharpness? The way the sharpness drop. And this is one attack. I remember the first time I did, there's a video, I have a video. You will see that. On Great Izushi, my sharpness went from white to green immediately. It went from white to green. It, it, oh. The guard tickle eats your sharpness, like it will devour your sharpness. <laughs> so it's not useful as well. It's not. It's not useful. So I, I don't know, like me i'm not a fan of the switch skills thing i'm not a fan i think in my opinion we could have lived without them <coughs> we could have lived without them they didn't they don't bring like drastic drastical changes apart from charge blade because i will be honest among all the switch skills i've seen charge blade is the only one that has something impressive because counter more slash is is way too powerful. Also, we was higher level of girl. <laughs> Lol. Wait, what? Um, there's usually at least one that's just no brainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's usually one that's no brainer. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why they have so much hate bone with me. What's the refresh for the ticket? What about the sash is down? LOL. LOL. Yeah, counter morph slash is the. Is the only. I mean. Charge Blade has the luck of having good switch skills, but Counter Morph Slash is just no brainer. Like, this is. Let me remove. This is Morph Slash. The fuck? This is Morph Slash. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Now, uh, where is it? This is counter morph slash. Why did that, anyways? <coughs> this is counter morph slash. One twenty-three, <laughs> ninety-nine to one hundred and twenty-three. That's when you know it's a no-brainer. <laughs> when you see that, you, you know immediately. Yes, I need to take that. Andy, wait, wait, Most are just as the advantage of surface if you don't spam a CD. Yeah, I I notice a lot of people say. Um, counter morph slash is slow, counter morph is slow. Honestly, yes, it's slow. But the problem is, and what this is what those people do. This is what they do. If you usually like, there's something people need to know. The the axe mode on charge blades is basically useless. The axe mode on charge blades is basically useless. The only moment you use the axe mode on charge raid is if you use savage axe and um, condensed spinning slash. The axe mode on charge raid is very much useless. I mean, it rise at least. So most people, you will see them doing that, and then start to attack the monster. If you do that, it's slow. Of course, it's slow. The thing is, if you play SAD charge blade, you are not supposed to do that. All you need to do is that. This is what you want to do. <laughs> like, you don't need to do any axe shit. Just do that. Like, the... If you only... Like, the, the shield on the charge blade is not the shield on the lens or gun lens. 
the shield of the charge blade is just for um, guard points. As long as you guard points, counter morph slash will never feel slow. Like, I mean, why in what is it slow? It's not slow at all. But if you are the type of people to do that, like going to uh, going to axe mode like this, it's gonna be slow. Of course, it's gonna be slow. For example, people will say that when I wanna uh, when they want to to unmorph, it's slow. Why would you do that if you are in axe mode and you want to unmorph? Do this. Let the attack come. Do this. Like. And you unmorph, no cutscene, nothing, you just unmorph. Or if it's not sufficient for you, just do this. And you unmorph, nothing crazy. Like, it's not that slow. If, honestly, if you feel like counter morph slash it's slow, you probably aren't using the thing correctly. If you use, well, if you use the child build correctly, you won't even feel anything. You won't feel shit. That You won't feel anything. It's it's you won't feel anything. So yeah, counter more flash is slow, but it's not that slow if you use it well. I mean if you guys watch my speedrun, you will never never see me unmorphing like this. Like like this. With the world cutscene, you will never see me do that. Never. I always do the dash and then unmorph. You will never see me unmorph normally. I always do the dash. Or I guard point something. I never unmorph uh, the normal way. Because I know I know it's slow, but as long as you do it well, it's not slow. I love to do something on Valstrax, this thing. And then I do an a SAT. I like to do that to him. When he does those double slam, I like to do that to him. Always nice to do that. Oh, uh, this is the. Oh, uh, what am I at it? Stop streaming soon, if not, yeah, be tomorrow. Mm. I was trying, there is not, there is no good electric charge bleed. For Savage Axe, there's none of them. None of them, dude. I looked and there's none of them. Not one. The Rajin is the only one that has impact, bro. The Xenog was good. The Xenog was good, but the problem is that's elemental. Elemental. Elemental and Savage Axe, man, it's your heart your life is gonna be hard. I'm telling you, your life is gonna be hard. <laughs> You want the the uh, impact fires, elemental fire. Your life is gonna be hard for no reason. Your life is gonna be hard as fuck. The, like I don't now we're elemental as well. Like, uh, is it too much to ask? 
the only one is Rajeng, but he has green sharp. <laughs> he has green, bro. Green. What am I gonna do with green? Rampage, Rampage, Rampage is not, um, the elemental output from Rampage is not good enough, like, better use, <laughs> better use, uh, Xenogrid at that point. If you wanna make the Rampage, better use Xenogrid. Better, but because, just look at the stat on Xenogrid, look at the stat, like, 26 in Thunder Element. 26 as base thunder element it's a lot and it has um slot level two like literally i was able to make a build for the xenogre the xenogre um charge blade without a charm and let me let me make it let me make it i will show you guys without a charm it, but the problem is i don't even know what i'm gonna put because usually i put slugger in the charm but <laughs> It can't use slugger. It can't use slugger. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh I need to upgrade it into this. Wait, let me see something. Okay. I wanted to see if he has something like silk bind boost or some shit like that. Without the charm, I was able to do that. Um, do I even need to put the switch skill right now? Where is it? Um, aquatic species. I mean, you are going to use Xenogram what? If not, those aquatic species. Yeah, man. Like, I was able to do that. Like, And you had good skill without a charm. If only it was impacted you. If only. If only. It was impact. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, I already have the base. Um, look at that. You guys will see what I'm saying. Without the charm, like. Tenderizer. <sighs> uh, Where is Tenderizer? Tenderizer. Bolt, 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 and there you go. Without a charm, you have critical seven, thunder attack five, attack boost four, critical boost three, weakness as well three, and there's no charm. If only, like, if only, if only it was um, impact, if only it was impact, if only it was impact. I could put like so with this build if you have a charm that has attack level three you can put it there and have attack seven you can do that if you want as well and have attack seven if you have a weakness exploit level two charm you can put it there and uh, let me show you if you have a level if you have weakness as well level two and uh and weakness weakness as well level two and one slot level two you can remove this tenderizer to put handicraft and uh wait it's not enough um uh let me see something actually yeah so you can remove that to put um uh, uh handicraft and increase the blue sharpness because the blue sharpness is too low if you have a handicraft charm i think two handicraft are sufficient let me show you let me see two handicrafts are sufficient to have white sharpness as well where is this guy two handicrafts yeah two handicrafts with uh, magnamalo you have white sharpness so if you have a critical eye ch charm um so if you have a cri oh so if you have a critical no wait let me see so if you have a critical eye charm no wait if you have a let me make the cap yeah if you have a weakness exploit two char with one slot level two you can remove one level of weakness exploit and replace it with a uh, critical boost because we haven't put anything yet on magnamalu's hands so if you have that so you can remove this he oh actually actually ouch wait 
Um, wait. Yeah, um, yeah, you can do that and put that here. And then you have well, 25% of affinity, but you have that. So you have this plus white sharp play. And without a charm, dude, we still don't have a charm. <laughs> we still don't have a charm. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's literally crazy. So I wish it was, um, I wish it was impact, dude, so that I can put slugger. A lot of the build don't require charms. Like, charms are barely anything. I like to say that charms are only here to complete your build. For example, you saw that when we did the build, we had attack 4. So if you have a charm that has attack 3, you can put it to attack level 7, you see? Not that if you have attack 3, it's not gonna... You complete it. You make the build and then you use the charm to see what is missing and you put anything you want. You, I mean, you were able to make a strong build without the charm, just like that. And I mean, let me even use this at least since I don't even have a lot, a lot of time. Um, let me. Um, so yeah, without the charm, man, it, it was without the charm. Charm are here for you to complete your build, not to make the build. Let me see. Where is it? Bolt, bolt, no, bolt, 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 bolt. And yeah, this is a build without its single charm, none. It says none. And it's not even the only one. It's not the only one. You can literally replace it with which one is it? Uh, let's take, um, let's take Vashrax. Vashrax, you put Vashrax here. Uh, what is missing? Valshra weakness exploit, bam! You have Valshra. Same thing. Oh, you just replaced the thunder with dragon. Sorry, um, but yeah, same thing with Valshra. Um, um, same thing with Nagakuga. Same thing with Ratalos. You just do that because they have one slot level two. So you just do that, and yeah, you have you have a strong build without a charm. Like, I don't want to start any talk, but people who complain about charm being any everything, nah, man, you are delusional. <laughs> you are delusional. <laughs> Charms are not everything. Dude, look at this build. Hey, we don't even need a charm. We don't even need a charm. Like, so yeah. I'm not saying that charms are not important, just like. If because you don't have a charm, you say you can't make a build, you're wrong. Like, you can still make a version of it, not the most powerful version of it, but you can still make something similar to it. So, oh shit, I forgot to replace that. Um, yeah, you can make a somehow version of it. Um, so yeah. Let's test this build. Most of them I can always seem to me like Zinoga was carried by fish versus <laughs> go dig of it was turned up big but it was actually low that you got a part. No, I cannot just chilling low. <laughs> but yeah, I mean I w like impact is for uh, monster control. Like it's so easier to to control a monster when you can kill them. Repeatedly. Without that, it's kind of hard to do it. That's why I like prefer impact, especially on savage acts like that. You do a lot of kill damage, and having um, impact is really something good. Nagakuga. You want me to do Nagakuga? I mean you can oh lord um like they like um you one anyways like shark said um nakakuga is better with is better with sad rather than spinning because it's a bit like i said 
when it comes to spinning slash you really want to get the ko like the ko's are really important and on a monster like nagakuga who moves a lot believe me the ko the ko are really important <laughs> you want those ko so yeah um yeah uh, nagakuga is better if i can ko nagakuga i can do nagakuga I need to break her head. Oh. My frame rate is acting up. I can't see anything. I can't see. This is what I was saying. This is why you want the KO. This is why you want the KO. Oh god damn it. She's moving too much. This is why you want the kill <laughs> in Savage Axe. Like you can't afford the monster to be like this. You want the kill. And so if only um Xenogre had kill it will make like my life your life not even my but like everybody's life oh that was unexpected Sharpness decreased. That's why I was saying like having handicraft is good as well. If you have a charm, weakness exploit charm, you can remove one weakness exploit to put handicraft and you have a longer sharpness. At this distance? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. You can see me? Hey, she was she she was able to see me. Uh. Wait, what direction are you going in? Yeah. Like I said, the build is good. 409. No buffs, no birdies, no traps. While playing bad. <laughs> so yeah, it works. But I wish it would. If like, you know what? I don't want to release the video now. But um, let me show you guys why KO is important. Let me show you guys. This is the reason why KO damage is important. I will release a video right now. I will release a video right now. This is the difference between no KO and KO. I released the video. This is the difference. 
between having KO and having no KO. This is the difference. Where's the chat? Post the link. I posted the link. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Give me a second, guys. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not supposed to be. Uh, let me let me redo this. Let me redo this. Yeah, this should be the link. Yeah, the second link I sent is the good link. Uh, the other one, it brings you back to my channel, lol. <laughs> Why did it do that? How do I delete a comment? Oh, remove. Okay, I sent it. Um, I released the video. I did 210 on Mizutsune. Uh, no damage. Because of KO. This is the power of KO. <laughs> 210 like when you get the KO it's just so much better so much better like just <sighs> for me it's the way CCD can be when when fire missing to hit why you are savage like you miss you know this player for pizza cut takes war to play which is why I like it lol that's true I, I agree with shade um the savage axe takes way more to play than um SAD because there is barely any block you can't block um, you are slow there is no axe hopper to help you and you need to target specific part of the monster and when you are stuck in the second combo I forgot is the second it's called elemental elemental discharge 2 or something you can quit it so if the monster attack you inside of it you get punished so Savage Axe require more, more from you than, and when you use SAD or whatever. Savage Axe is way more complicated, very more complicated. <laughs> Can you do a target with Savage Axe without traps, please? With the same build, or do you want me to use another one? Um, Savior, do you want me to use another one? Please, SAD builds require more, more so knowledge. Well, pizza could you just CPP twice into a of Nah, 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 nah. I don't agree with Shark. I don't agree with Shark. Honestly, it's SAD that don't require more monster knowledge. Savage Axe is the one that requires monster knowledge more. And precision. I will say that Savage Axe requires a lot of precision. A lot of precision. Because Savage Axe, if, if your positioning is bad, recovering from it is very difficult. You will have to roll. Like roll multiple times <laughs> to get back in the good positioning. Which is annoying. Which is annoying. Very, very much annoying. And Savage Axe, you can't block. You're, you barely have guard level 1. <laughs> so there is no blocking. <laughs> There's barely any blocking. Whereas in SAD, you can block. If something happens to you, you just block. Etc, etc. But Savage Axe, there is nothing. Your only option is CPP. And even CPP, it's complicated. Because if you mess up, you get hit things like that like you should see a couple of speedruns savage axe versus um apex Zinogre. you will see that savage axe is not just going inside of the quest and doing whatever you want <laughs> there's a lot of process a lot of process happening there's a lot of process target of savage is very good marshal any set you feel like using just no capture okay um any set i feel like using but it has to be Savage Axe. Um, okay. Where is this thing? Mm, I should probably start to name them because I'm starting to confuse. To probably start to name the source food skills C 
CSS is Savage Jazz should have been C CSS Counter Spinning Slash. Oh, okay, Counter Spinning Slash uh, is Savage Axe should have been in the first place. <laughs> Lol. I mean, I feel like the reason why they changed the name is because since this word is called Condense Elemental Slash. Maybe they just like um, I mean since Savage Axe is no more a mod kind of a mod inside of the of the um, is no more a mod inside of the uh, what's the name Oh, I hate those little guys. They take all the damage. Look at them. They take all the damage. Bo, I barely hit Tigrex. They took everything. Nice. Now I have Dragon Heart. They took everything. Piece of trash, man. Diablos is coming. Oh, that's why I hate this map. Uh, I hate this map so much. Fucking Diablos. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's gonna go there. Diab Why does Diablos don't go? Um, let me look. Bazegos is there. Ah, oh, let me take this route, man. Yeah, this this place is good. This is good. Nice. What the fuck? Oh, we still did sub 5. We still did sub 5. Even though things went wrong. 
The Diablos. You did survive. Damn. Hello. Um, hybrid CB mode CB was never good anyway. <laughs> Ever EG where it was the only way to do damage. Um, Savior. Who asked me even to do that? I don't even remember. I was in the fight. I completely forgot. Who asked me? I hope it was enough. Like, I hope I did some. Because you asked me to do that, so. Maybe you wanted to see something? I don't know. Was it enough for you? So we did. I mean, I already did TA Tigrex and. But, yeah. Yeah, but anyways. But isn't that effective with what I spawn savage axe was the biggest problem hybrid CB's build speed. That's one super you couldn't get. Um um following the discussion between Shark and Shade, yeah, um I wasn't planning to do um hybrid. I never do hybrid, please. I never do hybrid. I was just having fun. I was just having fun. Um Savage Axe in Word um was hybrid because you didn't need to take like to choose a mod in rise you have so many options that making it hybrid doesn't work if it makes sense it just doesn't work making a hybrid yeah only because yeah in in rise it, it just um making a hybrid just doesn't work like it just doesn't work in rise because there are way better options to make it work. Here, I was just having fun. I was just having fun. Please, I, I never, I never do hybrid with Savage Axe. I never do that. I was just having fun. That's all. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I see what you're talking about. Oh yeah, between the, oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm, let me see, is it, is it what you're talking about? Let me see. Um, I hope it's that, maybe I'm wrong, but is it something like that? Oh, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, dude, um... I will have to buy buy in the next 45 by the time by the end of the next 45 minutes I will probably end the stream. Um, but yeah, is it what you're talking about? This? Uh, let me see. I actually did to change something real quick. Okay, mob slash. Okay, nice. Something like that, like going like this. World was the best CB. No, 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 no. I don't agree with that. World wasn't the best CB. World wasn't. Rise definitely beats that, because Rise has counter morph slash. Um, Rise has separation between normal sad and savage axe so you can fully maximize both both at this uh, both at different time you can make a full build for savage axe and a full build for sad instead of combining them and decrease one one and decrease another one just to make something to work nah rise is by far the best cb like by far <laughs> for example like I mean, look at this damage, dude. Let's be honest. Look at this. Look at this damage. L look at those damage. Let me take bombardier real quick. Let me just take bombardier. Bombardier. Like, wait, what the? Oh, I'm forced to eat three things. God damn it. I mean, word now. Nah, word. Word was a prototype. That's what I call it. A prototype. Word was a prototype. <laughs> World was a prototype. Rise is the definitive edition. <laughs> Rise is the definitive edition of Charge Blade. <laughs> let me, let me, I mean, like, like how, uh, I mean, look at that, look at that. 
Let's be serious for a moment. Look, look at that. Bro, look at the damage. 170. 170 in high rank. It's 170 in high rank, dude. This is a G rank word. 170. This is G rank in word. 170 in high rank. For free. <laughs> no extra cost. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah. Rise is definitely the better version <laughs> of word. I'm sorry. I mean, your opinion is your opinion, and mine is mine, but I know many people will agree with mine because this is insane. This is insane. Makes SD work with Valor Elements of Skill issues. Chad has the issue with skill issues, man. But better G was basically. No need to. If you let Jeffrey get a safe information, you talk about skill issues. <laughs> Shade and skill issues. Shade will always tell you skill issues. Whatever you do, he will tell you skill issues. <laughs> don't listen. Uh, listen to Shade, but don't listen to his skill issues. Uh, it, 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 don't listen to he, he will always say that. Don't take no offense in that. Don't take no offense. It's just a humble discussion. Guys, please. Um, Rice CB is definitely stronger, I just don't pretend like the design of uh, counter morphs are compared to Savage Jab. Counter morphs, wait. Oh, counter spinning slash. Um, even there, I don't agree. Like, here is the thing. Here is the thing. Here is the thing. Um, and actually, what you said, this is literally the opposite for me because. Let me show you. Let me show you. And I'm not saying that because I like chat. Like I'm fully honest with you right now. Fully honest. No, nothing, nothing more. Like look at that. This is spinning slash in rise. You can fully focus all your hits on one single spot. In word, it was like it was as if the monster body didn't exist. Like your axe just go inside, go outside, inside, outside. It it didn't make any sense. It was weird. And targeting one spot was just out of question. It was targeting every spot. Even if like it's not a weak spot and you get no critical hit, it's gonna go there for no reason. <laughs> Whereas in Rise, you can fully do that. Like only the head and all your damage are concentrated in one spot and it's easier with the KO because all the KO go in one spot one thing as well Savage Axe in Word decrease your fires over time whether you do something or not your fires will decrease even if your weapon is shift back as long as the symbol of Savage Axe is activated your fires will go down whereas in Rise, look at that This is in Rise. You gain fires for free. Basically, in Rise, your fires in Savage Axe are infinite. They don't finish. They do not finish. They just keep going. Keep going. And if you do the combo right, look at that. They don't finish. They don't. You just keep going. Infinite fires. And if you are hybrid, you can just go. Oh, you know what? SAD. I don't have the red sheet, but you can go SAD because your fire don't decrease. You have infinite fires. That's why Savage Axe in Rise is by far the best Savage Axe. By far. But without losing it, it's better than losing um, your fires over time. It's better than losing your fires over time. I prefer losing the uh, Savage Axe than losing fires over time. Because fires are literally... Fires are literally your main damage. Especially you are talking about word. That means that if you lose your fires, there is no SAD. Your Savage Axe are worth shit. Nothing. So I prefer losing Savage Axe in itself than losing... Um, 
my fires over time especially for doing nothing i mean in war you just want to heal and you see your fires going to zero like what what the heck just to heal or sharpen and your fires are dead for nothing you did nothing and your fires just left you <laughs> this is probably this is if this is worse because it's it just i mean and like i like i showed like it's not if you have let me show you something you say that you say that um you lose your fire let me show you something let me show you something real quick let me show you something really quick um i hope i'm not shouting i have girls as my, as my roommate and i don't like like i don't like dealing with them i have girls as my roommate i don't like dealing with them uh, i hope i'm not shouting too much uh, let me see something um let's see that you see that let me show you something Let me show you something. This is um, Savage Axe without Rapid Morph. You see the speed? You see how fast it was? Here is the thing. In Rise, let me show you something. If you have fire, this is the speed. Oh. When you don't have fires in Rise, and you want to go into Savage Axe, it takes more time. If you have fires, it, it's a bit faster. But look, here is the thing. If you have Rapid Morph level 3, this is the speed of, your, of the Savage Axe. This is the speed of Savage Axe. If you have Rapid Morph level 3, quick switch. Let me show you. It will change your life. This is the speed of, this is the speed of um, Savage Axe. You see how fast it was? That was fast. Now with the fires, it's gonna be even more fast. Immediately. It, so even if you lose it by shifting, you can just go back in it. No problem. Like I lost it. I go back. Immediately. Just like that. I do it. Um, I lose it. I'm back in it. How long was that? It's not that long. And you're back in it. Who, like, you're just back in it. And in the worst case scenario, in the worst case scenario, you have that. And you're back in it. Worst case scenario, you just use CPP and you're back in it. just like that so it's it's really i mean i mean it like i said everybody feel different in different things and it's, it's okay it's okay but that's just my opinion like there is so many things that i mean like i said in my opinion world was a prototype and rise is the definitive edition the 2.0 version of the 1.0 <laughs> Why you give fire on it? It is means quick vector. This is the definitive version of Savage. You mean Savage was not fighting with the same performance? And then spin some of the other is just reflecting the point. Yeah, that yeah, shade is right, and I said it one time. Like Savage Axe, here is the thing. Savage Axe has like evolved so much from word that it's literally its own weapon in itself savage axe is its own weapon like and i said it one time if you want to understand savage axe in rise you need to consider it as a new weapon not even a charge blade a new weapon because it acts different the skills require that different let me show you something this is a build for normal sad you see the build this is the build for normal sad and this is the build for Savage Axe. There is a difference. On the SAD, you don't see critical boost. You don't see um, weakness exploit. Here you see critical boost and weakness exploit. On the other one, you don't see master touch. Here you see master touch. On the other one, you don't see you see guard. Here you don't see guard. Here you see load shell. Here you don't see load shell. There is a difference. Like 
Savage Axe in Rise is literally a new weapon in itself. It acts different, the skills are different, the way you use it is different, everything about it is different. I will go as far as to say, if Capcom wants, they can even like completely detach Savage Axe from Charge Blade and make it as a new weapon, the 15th weapon, a new one. They can even do because Savage Axe in Rise is literally different. It's not even a charge blade. It's only a charge blade in the fact that to make the weapon is in the charge blade category. But the the play style itself, it's something different. It's a whole other thing, a whole new thing. Completely different. Completely different. Um, he said, I'm not, um, I just personally feel like Axe only gameplay was the wrong direction for the, to take it compared to Icebound Persistent mode. I mean, it's not, it's not Axe only. I mean, I will say something as well. Let's be honest. When was, um, the Charge Blade created? The Charge Blade was created in GU. And how was it played? It was mainly played with, um, I would say, SAD and a lot of AED. In GU, it was Axe, especially with Brave Style, it was Axe. Axe was dominating, barely any SAD, barely any, it was Axe mode. And then Word, when Word came in, it was SAD as well. And then when um, Iceborne came in, it was... A mix of the two at the same time so people will switch back and forth some people I see some Sweden people will play it like in rise but nonetheless it was still the same thing and in a way apart from GU the axe mode from charge blade was kind of left alone like it wasn't it, it, it wasn't that like you really use the axe mode apart from GU but then you have rise where like you can fully go like increase your axe damage for free like i'm not talking about like um making a build for both sad and savage axe i'm talking about like going 100 percent savage axe and 100 percent sad Instead of going 50-50, you can go 100% and 100% on the other side. For me, this is the best thing. For me, this is the best thing. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just the best thing. It's the best choice they could have made, honestly. Like, I want to fight a monster. I'm like, Savage Jack will be better. I'm not going to be like... I, I don't know I'm going to explain it more. Like, it just... Having both of them separated, is, it's but for me, it's the best move. It makes making a build easier. It makes using them easier. It makes um, a lot of things easier, to be honest. It makes a lot of things to be easier. Way easier. Counting SCG, down monster. Even much for the other SCG and shield boost in my four. Yeah, um, GU, I mean, when I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking more of a, more, um, how, how was the word? Like, how am I gonna say it? I don't know I'm gonna say it. Specific? Like, most use case? Because if you played, I mean, I, I know a lot of you played Monster Hunter for a long time. In GU, it was a lot of SAD. In 4U, it was a lot of Axe. A lot. And when I say a lot, it was a lot of Axe. Barely anybody was doing SAD. It wasn't, it wasn't if, in GU, it wasn't even hybrid. It wasn't even hybrid. Um, in World, it was only one mode. And then, you have Iceborne, two modes. But it was hybrid. That's the thing. What happens when something is hybrid? It can never be 100%. That's the thing when something is hybrid. And I'm not okay with that. Like, 
whenever something is hybrid, it never reaches 100%. There is always going to be drop somewhere to increase the other one or drop the other one to increase the other one. Always that thing and it's annoying. I mean, in world I saw some build people will make even though it was hybrid, some people will make build especially for SAD and some build especially for Savage Axe, even in world because even if it was hybrid, the way to use them was still kind of different. You kind of mix them together just like you mix, uh, I don't know, two liquids together. It doesn't mix immediately. But when something is completely different, like... When something is completely different, you can max both d at different time. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna make a build... A, I'm not gonna make a build that can help me do SAD and Savage Axe while I know for sure I'm gonna have to drop some shit when I can make a build completely for SAD and another one completely for Condensed Phoenix Axe, like Savage Axe why would I make that? why would I make a hybrid when I can do 100% and 100% on the other side? one simple example why why play why be uh, uh let me see why try to be 50 percent good at football and 50 percent good at basketball why you can be 100 percent good at football or 100 percent good at basketball you have more chance of going into the nba or whatever it is for the, the football if you're 50 50 you won't you will never go in the nba you will never go in the, the nfl but if you are 100 percent in football your chance to go in the nfl is greater and if you go 100 percent basketball your chance is going the nba is greater as well but if you do 50 50 there's gonna be a problem this is a more simple example to understand Um, are you is it PC um, Ferran are you gonna play on PC or switch because someone made the mistake uh, a mistake like that are you gonna play on PC on switch yes PC um we are not gonna do that much quest but at least we can do something because my time is almost up um, but we can do something oh actually let me show you the um, look at the screen. The lobby uh, is too long to type, so um, I will ask you to look at the screen. <laughs> it's too long to type. Oh my fucking gosh. I'm tired of... of spam. What the heck? Is it Spanish? And there's a link. Most of you are smart already, and I'm, I'm sure of that. If If you see those comments, Please don't click on the link they put. Do not click on the link. I mean, most of you are old enough to know that, but don't. Don't click on those links. As tempting as it may be, don't click on it. Don't click on those links. No, 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 not you, Spanish. Not you, Spanish. Um, I'm like, uh, I released two videos today, and there are those spam comments with um, links, and they are in Spanish. Like, the whole comment is in Spanish. Don't click on the link, please. That's how you get hacked. <laughs> Don't click on the link. Don't, but it's not you. It's not you. It's not you, man. Did you look at the screen? Let me put it back on. Look at the, the lobby ID and password. Yeah, don't click on those links. Yeah, don't click on them. Very bad. Very bad links. I 
I, I received like four or five today I was able to delete all of them but just be careful because they might upload at night while I'm sleeping so if you click on it that's your issue <laughs> that's your problem it's no it's not my problem me I uploaded the video they just commented on it what can I do I'm not God But um, but best girl Hinka is in trouble from the vampire and needs my help. I can only help by giving her my mom's credit card. But they wish it didn't. They <laughs> should hold it back. <laughs> Lord. Oh well, I'm f um, I have to type the lobby. Yeah, you need to type the lobby. I mean. Unless you have me as your friend in Steam, I don't know how you're gonna do it. Like the lobby ID, you type it in, and then the passcode. Um, but where's the Inca is in trouble? <laughs> no. Dude, you should give it. You should definitely give it. Give her your mom credit card, no more expiration date, and the three digit on the back. <laughs> give it. <laughs> Error. Error. I will try again. Um, let me let me put it back. Look carefully. Look carefully. Don't. Um. Ah oh man, I've been sitting here, man. It hurts. I've been oh, been seated for too long. Hurt, man. Um, it's uppercase L, lowercase F. Upper case, upper case K, upper case H, I think, and then um, upper case K G X G. Is it J or G? No, it in French is G, so in English is J. Okay, so it's K J X J, eight two A Q, eight K C F. Okay, I think you are you are here. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. What did I even eat for? Bombardier? Damn it. We are gonna do like maybe three or four quests depending on how fast we are. If we are fast enough we can do five at max. Because I need to, to get off and find food. Lol. <coughs> oh, one thing as well, with me there is one rule you need to follow. If you get the mounting, you shoot it on the wall once. Not, it's not even one. It's a lot of rules. Shoot it on the wall once. More than that, just waste time. Um, if you get the mounting, don't go attacking another monster. For example, Nagago and Janata are way too far. L leave them alone. That's all. As long as you do that. I'm fine. He took something. I went for him. Wait, what? Uh, where is he?
nice. Nine. Oh, he's on the wall. Oh, no. his head is here. I thought he was gonna turn the other way. I'm on the wall. Shit. Damn. He's making the thing flinch a lot, which is nice. Shit. Wait, what? Am I dreaming? Eh? 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 Almost dead, nice. If I can get oh throw a bomb flash, throw a bomb flash, throw a bomb flash. Can you hear me? Oh he's gonna take ten seconds before you notice. Nice. Sub five, nice. Nice. This is how I like to do my quests. You see, throw the monster only once. More than once, it just wastes time for nothing. Only once. Nice, nice, nice. Sub five, dude. We did sub five. I can tell you. I can tell you the damage. Nice, nice. Yeah. Only ons. I mean, I'm not saying to not throw the monster multiple times. Depends on what you want to you do. If it's for for example, let's just say emergency. No, emergency you can. Um, the big Vashrax, the one with a lot of HP. You can throw him multiple times on the wall, yes. But more so like this, once is sufficient. Once is sufficient. And I wanted to test this build as well. This build is way too strong. Damn. Way too strong. Because I still need to make some things. The build, I intend to make a video about this build. I'm not gonna show it on stream right now, but I will make a video about this build with Ratalos is actually the strongest Savage Axe build in the game. The strong is not Nagakuga. This build is way stronger than Nagakuga. Way stronger. But I'm not gonna show the build right now. I will make a video about that. Probably. Not 100 percent sure. <laughs> not 100 percent sure. But yes, this build is stronger than Nagakuga. It does way more. Like this build has only attacks attack four and does more damage than Nagakuga with um Dragon Heart and Attack Level 4 combined. This build has more damage than that. <laughs> like the damage on this build is insane. <laughs> so yeah, I, I will make a video about that one day. One day. But it's kind of too late though. I found a build very late, very late, and Sunbreak is coming, so it's kind of useless. That's why 
I don't know if it's worth doing a video. About. And this, the, the thing with this build as well is that it's, it's, it, it can't use Master Touch. Your only option is Protective Polish. And uh, so you, this build cannot be used in casual hunts. Like you say you want to use this build to casually hunt monsters. You can't. This build is just speedrun. Only speedrun. Because you will need the fish to sharpen immediately. And uh, you only have three fish. So on a casual hunt, you might exceed that and you will be fucked. So this build is only only um, only uh, for speedruns. Only for speedruns. But yeah, I intend to make a video about that. <laughs> about this build. I intend to make a video about this build. It's really powerful. Really, really powerful. I want to try this quest. Yeah, 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 we can do it. We can do it. Uh, oh shit, I forgot to do something. Um, love. Uh, it's Vashrax, right? Vashrax, Vashrax, what can I use? Vashrax. Vashrax. Uh, you know what? Let's go for ice. If you want, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's always the worst shit when people just go half across the entire map to fight for the. I swear, dude. Shark, I swear. Like, do you guys know? Let me show you guys. Guys, do you see this quest? There's this quest. Um, where is it? This quest, Magnamalo and Nagakuga. This quest right here. I was playing. I swear, when I finished this quest, I literally told the my team, um, Shades, Dover, and the others, like, I'm never gonna play with randoms ever again. Never. Magnamalo was on the mountain, and Nagakuga was on the um, area one. Like when you quit, when you leave the first camp in Shrine Runes, that's where Nakakuga was. The guy rode Magnamalu from the mountain to that point of Nagakuga, I swear. Dude, I wanted to just grab my phone and start like insulting everybody on my community post. I was so mad that day. Like how, why would you do that? Why? I w like I w that was the post that was supposed to go. It's really not that difficult to learn how to fucking mount a monster. You have the demo, you have the full game. Just learn how to mount a monster. You don't need to be a genius. Like I was so mad, <sighs> man. Ah, I was so mad. How do you not know that? Man, I'm telling you, that day I just wanted like. N but I'm telling the truth, I'm never gonna play with randoms again. The only time I'm gonna play multiplayer is open lobby. Randoms, it's over. I'm not. I'm not gonna play with randoms anymore because the thing that they pull off, I don't know where they learned that. Ah. Uh. Hey, what what? Man, I swear. If you are watching the stream right now and you know you don't know how to mount, please go and learn it. There is the demo of the game. There is a literally tutorial in the game. Go and learn because there are some. There is a lot of bullshit. There was one time I was playing with someone. The guy, he didn't know how to, um, how to. Uh, you know what? Let me just explain what happened. <laughs> the guy, literally, was using Mizutsune, which was the target monster. To attack the wall 
the guy didn't know you can throw the monster on the wall so he was attacking the wall for the full time of the mounting he was attacking the wall you see the bullshit that there is there is on monster to rise the bullshit <laughs> this is bullshit dude he was attacking the wall of anything you shouldn't at dude ferens that was clean that was clean dude like of all things and then there is another another bullshit as well the guy the guy There's another bullshit. The game. <laughs> There's another bullshit. Like. People. Uh, this is a lot. This is probably the most common. You see people using the target monster to attack a random monster. Instead of throwing the target monster into the random monster. Instead of throwing the target monster into the random monster and use the random monster to attack the target monster, they throw the target. They at, they use the target monster to attack the random monster, and they go as far as to do the finisher. They go as far as to do the finisher. You see the bullshit that there is on Monster Hunter Rise. I understand you can be a newcomer. Monster Hunter Rise is your new is your first Monster Hunter game. But it doesn't excuse the fact that there's the fucking tutorial in the game. There is a... F Man, I need to calm down. There is a tutorial in the game. Why don't you just go and learn the fucking tutorial? It's not that complicated. You don't need two brains. Only one. Just go and learn the fucking tutorial. It's as simple as that. But no, there's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I swear. Ugh. Yes, I'm mad because this is bullshit. This is really, really bullshit because it's things that shouldn't happen. If there's thing, one thing that I hate the most in life is a necessary thing. Like, I just hate when something is unnecessary. You can just, you can say whatever you want to me. I won't get mad. But if you do something unnecessary, something that I judge unnecessary, man, me and you, we are in trouble. I hate unnecessary behavior and necessary things like I hate it. I just hate it. When something is not needed, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do it. Like it's not that complicated. Just learn how to mount the monster. It's, it's not that complicated. Just learn. Like uh, everybody went there. Everybody learned how to mount the monster. I do not expect you to learn it the first day. But I expect you to learn it some point. Like at some point I expect you to learn it. Not at the first time, but like learn it. Man oh No man. I I I'm I'm actually mad because it happens way too many times. Too many times. How many times am I gonna see the same shit? Every time. Same thing. You don't know how to mount the monster. When there is a tutorial. Like, I mean... Even if you don't learn, don't you press the buttons? Like... Do you not press the button randomly? How can you attack the wall? For the full time of the mounting, how can... Like, how is it even humanly possible? That means that the guy, he was on switch. So the guy never tried to press the Y button. He never, in his life, never tried to press the Y button. Just to see what happens. He never did. And he... God forgive me. At that point, God forgive me. Because the things that just want to come out of my mouth, man. Like, this... this may God forgive me, dude. <laughs> because it's way too many. 
too many of the same team. Man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. If you are listening to my voice and you know you are in this case, yes, I'm talking about you. Yes, I insulted you. Yes, go and learn. Just go. Stop the bullshit and go and learn. And then in Sunbreak, they are gonna add um, new ways of mounting, and people are gonna do the same bullshit again. Same thing in, in Sunbreak. I know it. I know people are gonna do the same bullshit. I know it. They added a new spider in Sunbreak. I know people are gonna do some bullshit with it. I, I know. I know. I know. They added the yellow. The yellow. Um, the yellow uh, um, uh, the yellow wire bug i know some people are gonna use the target monster to hit everything on the map i know it i know some people are gonna do it i know some people will use the monster to hit everything on the map to get items i know some people are gonna do it i just know it no 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 i'm not talking about you Ferran. i'm not talking about you no, you no no it's fine it's fine it's fine I didn't even notice I didn't even notice um, what you did I didn't notice you're fine you're fine like I know in Sunbreak there's gonna be some bullshit as well some people are gonna do it because some people were already doing that in World and in Rise people are gonna do it you will see three monsters on the map Magnamalo Bazelgus and uh, Mizutsune someone is gonna take Magnamalo hit Bazelgus and then take Bazelgus hit Mizutsune use Mizutune, hit Bazelgus, and then hit Magnamalo, get all the items, while the other three people in the party are just gonna look at him. And the guy is proud. He is proud of what he just did. I know, I know some people are gonna do it. I know. I know they are gonna do it. That's why in Sandwich, I'm not touching the online. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not touching the online. There's gonna be a lot of bullshit again. I know. Seventeen days. Seventeen days seems like a lot. Damn. Oh my man. What's the worst when people just go half across the map? Imagine a GW user waking up sleep monster and bow girl players then lucky the monster that I don't even want to join the request anymore. <laughs> I said I see some hours ago we couldn't play so I check again if you were streaming with you. Oh, okay. You don't care very much random random link down was war stories. <laughs> Speaking about this, I think it's cause they want to free mat. They're doing the finisher is just brain dead. Once I play with people who got all the way to high and without realizing that you could launch. I almost play with people who got all the way to high and without realizing you can launch the monster. Dude! They thought you can only attack. Part of me kind of hope somebody's gonna have some random taking defender weapons in a trial to tear shit. Oh yeah, you choose the quest lord. Man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like... Honestly, for Sunbreak is only open lobby I'm gonna do, and you guys can join. And but me playing like alone on my own, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm tired of randoms. I'm tired. Nah. For example, we fairing like this. We did Camilo sub five. You don't do that with randoms, dude. Like if you do it with randoms. Either someone has um, um, sticky, either someone has sticky, or the randoms are really good and know what they are doing. If not, it's usually impossible to do sub 5 with randoms. <laughs> they just do whatever they want. <laughs> like, it's like everybody has a different objective in the quest. Someone wants the item, someone wants to finish the quest fast. Someone just wanna have fun, and it just a mayhem. It just what the heck happened? I think it's me who disconnected. 
Wait, Fairman stayed there. Um. How? How do I go about that, Fairman? Um. How do I go about that? No wait, Give me a second. Mutual likes, but then if I wait, something happened. Um. Wait. What? Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Where is it? Oh, it works. It's weird. Hmm. Communication error. Something's happening. Something's happening. I think it's my computer again. My computer is acting up again. Because it did the same thing yesterday. Yeah, something happened again. Some because I checked the Wi-Fi, everything is fine. The connection is fine. Wi-Fi is fine. My phone, Wi-Fi is fine. That's so weird. And I can't even activate the online. It says communication error has occurred. That means I have to restart the game. At that point, that means I have to restart the game. Let me at least let me see something. Um, something happened. Something happened again. Man, I need to look in. I need to look what is going on with my PC. I need to look. I need to look. I mean, I need to look. Yeah. Wait. What? That's weird. I think let me just close the game. Let me give me a second. Let me just close the game. Let me just close the game. Let me just close the game. It might be one of those issues again. Like since I restarted my computer, like not restarted but formatted my computer, a lot of things have been happening. Like for example, whenever I want to start Monster to Rise, Steam says that um it says it couldn't um sync with the that they did the the steam the steam online data or something like that every time steam cloud yes it says couldn't synchronize with the steam cloud every single time i want to start the game every single time it says that i don't know how i'm gonna make him stop it says error again something is weird let me check something I mean, the, the stream is going on. That means the Wi-Fi is going. Let me see something. Going. Wait. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is going. That's weird. It happened in communication error. Again. Man, how many bugs am I going to have? Why did I format my PC? Why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Now I'm thinking maybe formatting the PC will solve the issue. Because it did the same thing yesterday. It, it did the same thing yes, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Uh, what should I do? Should I format the PC again? Because, like, this is the issue that is happening. Since I formatted my PC, when I, whenever I play after one hour, the screen goes black. Oh, thanks for the yeah, it will be easier for me to do to join. Um, the screen will go like completely black, and then the screen will come back. But then my frame rate can't even reach 60. It's like it caps. It. Yeah, it was. I see. It's it's a problem with Steam. Steam has an issue. Steam itself has an issue. Because I just received a notification. I don't know if you guys saw that. Steam said error, logging, something like that. Let me um, let me do something. Man, uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have have formatted my PC. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I suppose this is this is what happens then. Now it's back on. 
It's back on. Fuck sake, man. It's back on. Oh. Guys, if any of you is a professional with PC, please help me because I don't know what is happening. I don't know. I don't know what is happening to me. Like every time I wanna open Motion to Rise, it says couldn't synchronize with the Steam Cloud. This is one. Second, whenever I play for like an hour, the skin the screen will go completely black and then the it will come back again normal, but my frame rate can't even reach 60. It's it's like the frame rate is completely like locked at 30 or some shit. I, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea. I looked videos I tried whatever they said to do, nothing worked. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. What, what should I do? So guys, if any of you know something, say, you have to make it. Yeah, 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 thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Uh, there are some people that just want to be that you just think you say, how you even get to do it. What happened? Can I add you to the No, 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 it's fine. I, I, it was a problem with Steam. My Steam had an issue. It was a problem with Steam. Um, Steam just had a problem. Um, just had a problem. But yeah, it's solved. It's solved. It's solved. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Where is it? Fire, 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 fire. Okay. But yeah, I don't. I don't know. Why did I do to this PC to deserve that? Like, all happened. Um, um, Theron, let's do Gosarak first. Let's do Gosarak first. Like everything started happening when I did a Gosarak speedrun, and I used the GeForce experience to record the seven minutes that happened, and that's where like um, the PC started bugging. Basically, to load the game, it was taking ten minutes. Ten minutes in the loading screen to to load the game, and so I thought like. Uh, deleting the game will fix the issue so I deleted most of the rise but didn't fix the issue so I decided to literally to f um, format the game um, the PC and still nothing I d I, what am I saying like I decided to format the PC and it solved my issue but like one day later my issues became worse like it's even worse than before the game works yes but all the issues I have to face is literally insane let me get the kill If I can get the kill, I will be happy. Oh shit. Is Lee? Oh no, turf war. Oh, that's the first time I received a turf war. Yes, that's the. F oh no, not turf war. Ah. Uh, I only seen the turf war in um uh, in videos. I've never actually saw them doing that in the game.
<laughs> lol the way he fell was funny i don't want to get the kill now if i get the kill the mountain is gonna eat the kill and i don't want that nice Nice, perfect. Uh, I forgot my cat is doing um, the ear protection. And I try to iframe his roar. For nothing. Shit. Nice. Nice. After that, we will do one more quest and I will stop there. Dude, can you believe? I hope I, go I didn't get um, I didn't get robbed, dude. Because um, I live in a dorm, so I <laughs> I hope I didn't get robbed. Damn, I hope. Um, I live in a I live in a dorm, and uh, before streaming, I put my clothes in. It, it, it was the to dry. So I put my clothes in and it was at around um, 11 a.m. Now it's 6 p.m. So I, I'm hoping I didn't got robbed dude, because it happened one time. The fir the fir literally the first semester that I did here, they robbed me. <laughs> someone, stole, someone stole my socks and one of my shirts. The first time, like literally the first semester i literally arrived and first time i washed my clothes someone stole my socks and a t-shirt <laughs> this time i've all no this time I, I left it for too long because last time it was just like two hours that i left them this time is like literally a whole day so i'm hoping they didn't rob me <laughs> they didn't rob me He's easy to KO, let me just... Oh. Uh, too short. Ah, come on. Is it me or is he... Is it... Is it... Of course, of course, of course. I knew it. I knew it. What can't I go? He, he's so small. In a speedrun, size matters, lol. So your girlfriend was lying. Size matter. Size do matter, lol. In speedruns, ideally you want a small size in speedruns, but there are some instances depending on the monster where you want a, a bigger size. For example, Ghost of Rag, you want a smaller size. Um, him like this, you probably want a smaller, a bigger size. Vastrax, you probably want a smaller size as well. Magnamalo, you want a smaller size. Um, uh, yeah, it depends, it depends. Nagakuga, and it also depends on the weapon. 
For example, when I did Nagakuga with, um, usually, if you use Demon Flight on Dual Blade, you want a bigger monster because too small you will miss. Bigger is is better. Bigger is better on Dual Blade. Um, charge Blade, Charge Blade bigger is better because b Charge Blade depends. Actually, it depends. Charge Blade depends. Bigger, smaller, varies. But yeah, ideally, that's why um, some people for their uh, speedrun use mods to control the the size of the monster. Because size do matter a lot in speedruns. It matters a lot. A lot in speedruns. It matters a lot in speedruns. Like, if the monster is very small and you want to do Helmbreaker, it's way easier because his head is literally there. When he's too high, you have a chance to miss your handbreaker, things like that. The first guy was silver. Oh, he was silver. Oh, he was silver. I mean, there is a quest. Um, I see blade so bright, whatever. He's the biggest ghost of rag. If you do him, you will get the gold crown. He, he's huge. That ghost arc is huge. The most intimidating monster I've seen were the biggest Rajen and the biggest ghost of rag. They are huge. They are way too big. I have a friend, Shade. He met the biggest Almudron. He literally made his game break. <laughs> The biggest Amusion was way too big. <laughs> it was way too big. Um, what quest are we gonna do? A good quest to finish. A good quest to finish because I'm gonna end the stream here. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling... I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous. Um, let me think. Mm. Yeah. This is a little. Oh yeah. Um, the little Zinonger. Yeah. The little Zinonger. He's so small. There's also the little Lagombi. The little Lagombi. I don't know which build to use. I mean, we have time to go back, to go, to come back and leave. So, um, you can take, you can go by monster if you want. Like, take a build for each monster. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we have time to leave and etc. We have time for that. You see this? Hunter info. If your hunter info is like this, you touch nothing. It means that you know already everything. You don't need. If your hunter info still has the notification, you are not an OG. You are not an OG. No, I'm joking. Um, I will go pure salvage. Yeah, pure smart works as well. I'm thinking of making also a build for um Pierce Electric Thunder Pierce HBG things like that. Yeah. Let's go. I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking of that as well. Yeah. My objective is to use all the weapons except for lance and gun lance. No thanks. I've I have more chance of using gun lance one day than using lance. <laughs> lance is just not my style. Not my style. Because me, I like... <coughs> I like fast weapons. Ooh. Give him some time. I'm trying to see what she's gonna do. What is this? 
What the? Not what I intended. The guy has diversion level 5 or what? Because Mizutsune, I hate that shit. Nice. Topple. Nice. Man, Axe Hopper is just one of the best things. Being just like you look down on the monster, like yo, you see this is about to fall on you. Did I not touch? Okay. Look at her. Oh, that was sweet. Ooh. That was sweet. Ash, dude. As someone who main lens and gain lens all the way back to her. <laughs> Those are the worst lens, it's not close lol. Lol. Me, I can't I can't use those weapons, lens and gun lens. It just for example, to put into perspective My favorite weapon by far is dual blade. So you if you see how dual blade is compared to lens, you kind of understand why I don't like I don't I I don't dislike lens, I just don't wanna use it. Because it just I don't know, like, if you look at Jubilee the way Jubilee is, you will understand easily why I don't want to play Lens. I like to say something, Jubilee is the sexiest weapon. There is no other weapon like Jubilee. Uh, and what I mean by sexiest weapon, I do not mean it's the, be the best weapon. It's literally the sexiest weapon. Like, dual blade, when I use dual blade, for me, dual blade looks like a woman. I'm not like to you. This, every time someone asks me to explain, um, that's the same explanation I give. You must think dual blade as your, as your perfect girl. Like, it's the same thing. <laughs> there is no du difference between dual blade. And your dream girl, they are the same thing. Like, I remember someone asked me how can he use Jubilee well, and I told him, like, how? <laughs> like, it's not that difficult. Like, Jubilee, you change mode, demon mode, it's the same thing. Like, when, <laughs> when you are with your, uh, it, like, it, it, I, it, it, it goes into. <laughs> But honestly, this is the explanation I give to anybody. Dual blade is like that. I mean, in my eyes, this is how it is. You need to slow down. Sometimes you need to be fast. Sometimes you need to be slow. It's the same thing. The same rule applies with dual blade. It's like dancing with your dream girl. It's like a dance. It has a tempo. It has um, um, speed. Different things. You see, Dual Blade is not a weapon. Dual Blade is your dream woman. Think like that and it's easier. Uh.
Yeah. Dual blade. Nothing can change my mind. Dual blade is the sexiest weapon. No bitches, no. Wait, what? TMW. What does TMW mean? What does TMW mean? Um, uh, makes sense. Uh, um, it it could make sense. I could never stand playing dual blade law. That moment when no bitches can be let law. 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 I mean, like you don't always. I mean, it, it, like, that's why <laughs> when I explained it to, it was someone in my Discord. He wanted an explanation of Jubilee, and I gave him the same explanation. And he says that <laughs> he doesn't know if he's having a sexual education class or not. <laughs> but it's the truth. Like I don't know how I'm gonna explain Jubilee better than that. Like for me, this is how it works. <laughs> And it works, I guess. So I, I don't know. Like I've never given another explanation for dual blade. Literally, this is how me I see dual blade. It's not that difficult. Nice. Shit. Oh! Our cat did the same thing together. Nice. Finally, I did it to him. Finally, I got you. Yes, sir. This is the power of Dual Blade. Dual Blade. It's like I said. It's like a girl. If you listen to her, she does what you want want her to do. If you don't, she doesn't. I haven't lost. I haven't lost HP. Lo I haven't lost HP so far. Fall. Ah, now I lose. I lost HP. Oh, I was about to do no damage. Fuck. Nice. Yeah. For the win, yeah, I will say something. He was focused on, yeah, he was focused. It is good that he was focused on me because, um, I noticed something when I was doing the Teostra run with Dova. I was using Jubilee, he was using Longsword, and something that we noticed that, and it's actually the reason why we couldn't get sub tree. It was that reason why we couldn't get sub tree. 
the thing is Deostra was too focused on me like long sword works really well when you are alone no teammates nothing because long sword is all about counter you counter you go to red handbreaker but if the monster targets anything else than you you can counter and it's difficult it, slower to go into red longso works a lot better when alone you see and that was the what was happening with dova dova was barely doing anything because theos is only focused on me and we had to change the strategy like we agreed that dova will take di diversion and i will remove diversion from my set the issue with that as well was that whenever um Teostra now was focusing on um dova when me i use demon flight since i'm not uh, using demon since he is not targeting me and i use demon flight outside of the iframe i get hit um uh like demon flight when, for example if an attack con um is uh the monster attacks you and you do demon flight you iframe as soon as you are in the air there's no more iframe anything can happen to you so what happens is that if the Ultra, for example we do an attack on dova because i'm in the air the attack will take me as an aoe attack and it was a lot of trouble because either Teostra focuses on me and i do well and he doesn't or Teostra focuses on him and i can do well but he does do well so it was just so weird it was so weird to to we, we couldn't do anything it, it was just so weird and it was the reason why we couldn't get the sub tree because Teostra just could if you see the video that I uploaded Teostra was focused on me not Dova he was only on me Dova um, also uploaded another video we got different time Dova took the we, I took the 3007 because that's where I played well and Dova took I think 3012 that's where he played well and on that run Teostra was focusing on him and on my run Teostra was focusing on me <laughs> it's so weird so those weapons are very weird other weapons are not like that but those weapons that use counter to as their advantage are really really complicated like in multiplayer quests because if the monster does i mean how does child works if there is no uh, guard point for you <laughs> you kind of lost <laughs> so it's it just those weapons are weird those weapons are weird Uh, where is the part where my girl gives you the Bro, your shaft was yellow, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, um, just have four long sword players who do the exact same inputs every frame, so you're together. Yeah, like, if, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's like, um, all long sword, you can take advantage of the same iframe. They, they, not the same iframe, but the same attack to counter. But when it's one player is not long sword, another one, it's very complicated. Especially if it's two different attacks. Like the way counter works on long sword is different from the way Jubilee works. It's work it's counter. It's not the same. So it's really for example, Dova, when Dova will get the counter, the light slash will flinch Teostra. So I don't get the, the counter. If I do the counter, it flinch Teostra and Dova can't get the counter. And I will say me not getting the counter is better because him, if he doesn't there is no increase in spirit gauge if i don't get the counter i still do the demon flight in a sense so it was just you if he was here he will say it he would he will testify it was so weird it was so weird <laughs> it was so weird it was so weird and yeah we had to set because that's what was happening and we couldn't get the sub tree it was just it was just like combination of bullshit yeah um um let's do a quest i wanted to do a quest this quest i did five minutes with Jubilee. i will increase later i need at least four minutes to three minutes at least four minutes to three minutes um you are using heavy bogan right um, um fair uh, so i think you should be fine you should be fine you should be fine with that i believe no 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 you have to come here Oh, can you? I don't know. I think you need to come here. Oh, can you? I've never done those quests with someone. Okay. 
let's go you don't need to eat you don't need to eat it won't affect anything you don't need to oh shit he's eating you don't need to eat it's not gonna it's not gonna affect anything well he already ate <laughs> he already ate yeah eating won't do anything it won't affect But yeah, that Tirsha man, like it took us two days and we tried so many times, like, and a lot of the times as well, I will flinch Tirsha so many times, so many times that Dova will miss his handbreaker, like almost every time, he will miss the handbreaker because of me. So, uh, okay. Wait, what? This is the first time. So, wait, when he does that attack, that's interesting. This is legit the first time. I fought Apex Zinoka probably more than a hundred times. And this is the first time I noticed that. Um, we are not playing well right now. The piercing bind. They need to revise the the, the hitbox of the piercing bind. Okay. Uh, oh no! Actually, it's good. Dude, don't finish your ammo. We have two more monsters. Oh shit. Okay. I'm trying to get in this quest. Um, Apex Diablos is not an issue. Apex Zinoga is also not an issue. The issue is Apex Mizutsune. Like, I've been doing this quest trying to get a good time and. I can kill Ap um, Apex D uh, Zinoger before the end of one minute. It's Apex Mizutsune. Apex Mizutsune is the issue, like. I feel like she has more HP than the, the rest of them. Finally.
Finally. Uh, but we are in the five minutes, which is not nice. We are in the five minutes. Uh, it's not nice at all. We are in the five minutes. Like I said, Apex Diablos and Xenogre are not an issue. It's Mizutsune that poses me problem every time I do this quest. Now he's not even targeting me. Uh, yeah, multiplayer is definitely not an option. Uh, nice. Press the button to do this fucking thing by What the? I thought he was. <laughs> he got me. He got me. He got me. I never got hit by this attack. I never got hit by this attack. Nice. Not nice. That was bad. Seven minutes. Jesus Christ. Seven minutes. That was bad. Ferran. Oh, man. Really? If we had time, we will redo it. If we had time, we will redo it. Seven minutes. That was bad. Mm, but my DPS was low. No, no, no. The DPS are like that. They give us a set. So our DPS are supposed to be... Um, it are supposed to be uh, how can I say um, your DPS are not low. It just is it is it, a matter of strategy. It's a matter of strategy. We need the planning for that. This quest this oh sh I need to change that. This quest needs planning. Uh, this quest need quest need planning. You need some planning. This quest needs some planning. We need some planning on that one. Uh, I need some planning. I need to plan some things. Um, I can do it alone. Um, and I will still do it, but with people, if I need to do duo, if I need to do duo, um, yeah, give me a second. I need to change something. I need to change something. Uh, where is it? Nope, not here as well. Not here. Not here. Oof. Where is it? Uh, no, wait. Was it even there? Or oh, maybe I need to unlock it. Because I can see it. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't see it. Yeah. 
if except uh blah 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 so I don't have it. Ah, that means I need to edit. Two stars. One star. One star. Let me put it in the order of more weapons I know how to use or master whatever. So yeah, the remaining ones. These are the remaining ones. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, HBG. I was using that a lot in World, but I've, I didn't use it in Rise. But it must be the same principles. So it's those ones. Those ones in three stars that I haven't uh one star that I haven't done. Honestly nah this one one star. You are one star, you two no since I didn't use them, it would be wrong to judge them. You hammer one star. Um two star for you. One star for long sword. Switch axe two stars. Insect glaive could be better two stars. LBG three stars. HBG mm. Mm. HBG mm. two stars. Bow three stars. Yeah. Yeah, this is what they deserve. This is good. This is good. Give me a second. Um. Uh, I need to do something real quick. Stand there, look in front of me. No, 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 not this jump. Yep. Okay. Now we need to be fast as fuck. We need to be fast up here. Wait, we need to be fast. Almost, 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 almost. Uh, wait, we are close. Nah, still too. Is it taking slower? Let the guy go. I want the guy to disappear first. Okay, this works. Seven, Jesus. Jesus, the dining is forced is closed. Ah oh, man. Um yo yo his favorite imperial scrub room. <laughs> Lol. I never use these guns in I never use these guns, but I think you I think I will be I will use this be I use them in war but never in rise. I think it's pretty much one button lol. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's part of the reason why I don't want to use SNS. I don't feel like I'm gonna learn much. It really feels very different in Brad. I will try Lance. Lance is why it's such a depressing train work. Especially <laughs> after after it was so good in world in world born love. 
Um, what quest are we gonna do? Heart of Rivalry. Um, oh, I know, I know what quest. There was this quest that gives you um, something like um, Rheumatic for Lear, no, Heart. Heart of Might. Take them, I will give you some titles now. Now, get rid of them. No stickers, fierce. No, um, what is the quest that gives you the heart, um, emotes or whatever? So, if, um, there's a quest that gives you that, right? Like the pause, there is a pause that, that makes it hard. Where, which one is that? Which quest is that? Um, stickers, um, easiest reason my will get rid of them. They are going to choose some super cute Z paws. Is it this one? Is it this one? No idea. <laughs> Shade, I will ask you to bump up dual blade at least at two. At least. How can you say dual blade is a one? <gasps> Dude. What the fuck? Ah. This is... You guys saw the strategy I just did. <laughs> Putting the trap and doing true slash slash. This is how I did all the village quests. <laughs> Yeah. 
this is how I did all the village quests in the game. <laughs> when I finished the game, um, using higher, uh, some of you don't know, but I lost my files due to the PC issues I was talking about, and I had to replay the game. And I did uh, at that same time, um, I had a friend who bought a PC, so we played basically together, and then. But we did multiplayer, so I didn't do village. And to to um, unlock some food skills, you need to do village quest. And the one I needed was at village quest uh, five stars. So I needed to go. Tr I needed to go through all of that, all this trouble. And I just made the great sword build <laughs> uh, traps. I just put the trap through shot slash capture, <laughs> and I finished. <laughs> the low rank village, <laughs> just like that. True shash slash, true shash slash. I just went. <laughs> it was funny. They were falling like flies. Dubli <laughs> uh, manus, dude. You guys are hating on Dubli for no reason. It's because you guys get no girls, man. Like nah 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 nah. Dubli, bro. How? <laughs> Dual Blade, I, I understand. Me, I, I will always say that. Du in my opinion, Dual Blade is one of the most complicated weapons to use. Because switching back and forth between Demon Mode and um, Arc Demon Mode, and uh, managing stamina while trying to do damage, all of these things, it's a lot. Like, I'm sure if. if the, I, I need to one day, like, record. When I will, one day I will show my face. And like you guys will see my eyes when I'm using dual blades. Like my eyes are moving all over the screen. <laughs> I look at my items. I look at my sharpness. I look at my HP. I look at the monster. Like my eyes just move because there's a lot to to um, look at. When I'm using charge blade, I don't look that much. Great sword, I don't look that much. Long sword, you don't even need to look. But dual blade, I always look. Um, bow, bow also. Bow also, you need to look a lot in the screens you need to look everything that's part of the reason i'm playing on ultra wide because i need to to have my 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 range of vision is to be a lot like i need to look at a lot of things <sighs> yeah i've been streaming i don't even know oh oh shit seven hours well i need to stop here seven hours jesus damn that's a lot Seven hours. Ah, uh, this is the second time I streamed that much. This is the second time I have to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. See, you need to. I need to end the stream. No, oh, seven hours. Damn. Okay, let me be clear. I don't know if you are used to me there. The video will just feel super much with the commitment, iframe, and everything. Just out of time. I try to understand why you like them, but I don't know feel the same. Lol, iframe on everything, I won't say that much. Like, it's a lot. People think that, like, Demon Flight looks easy. It's because I'm doing that. You should try yourself. And you will see that there's, there, it's it's not, uh, I woke up one day and decided to do that, dude. It's a lot. I, I didn't decide to wake up and started doing Demon Flight on everything. It was a lot of training. It was a lot. Because one thing... Demon Flight gives you only iframe if you connect with the monster. For example, if you put it in contrast with Longsword, Light Slash, even if you don't touch the monster, you can still do Light Slash and uh, uh, counter and receive no damage. Dual Blade, if you don't touch the monster, there is no iframe. You need to touch. So if the monster does an attack, you need to jump inside that attack and believe you are going to touch the attack. If it doesn't, then you're dead. That's how it works. Second of all, when you do Demon Flight, only when you connect with the attack that you receive the iframes. Outside of that, you're vulnerable. Basically, if you do Demon Flight, let's just say on uh, on Vastra. Vastra does the hands. Um, you see the slam that Vastra does? Let's just say you do Demon Flight on the first one. It's dead. The second one is gonna kill you because you are in the air. You can't move. You are in the air. This is the thing with, with um, um, Demon Flight. For example, um, Apex Zinoger has a, an attack. 
where he swipes and go in the air and falls with the hand. If you do demon flight on the first attack, the second one is gonna kill you because you will be in the air and you can move in the air. You just you are forced to take it. So it's because you see me doing that. If you start using it yourself, you will see that there is a lot. Demon flight is not like light slash. Demon flight is a lot of skills. You don't pull it off like it like it's drinking water. It's it's a lot of skills. It's a lot. It's a lot of skills and being in the air leaves you vulnerable to a lot of attacks. For example, if you watch the speedrun I did with Teosra, you will see that it happened a lot. I was doing Demon Flat, I, I framed his attack, but since there was a second attack, the second attack touched me because I was in the air. I can't move. For example, I did the Demon Flight, I was, I was spinning on his spine and he did his drifting attack and I was pushed back. Because, well, I'm in the air, I'm vulnerable. Demon Flight only gives you iframe when you connect with the attack. If you don't, you're dead. It happened many times. You will, you think that you were going to connect and you miss. <laughs> and you just look at your screen like, what? <laughs> so, I will always say that. It's because I'm doing that. Honestly, Demon Flight is not that easy. Demon Flight is not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying that to um, to force you to use dual blade, dude. I'm not forcing anybody. But just like I want to remove some, some, uh, some of your thoughts on dual blade. That's just what I'm gonna remove. Thinking that iframe is that easy, it's not. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Like. If you don't land it, it doesn't give you iframe. You need to land it. There, there needs to be connection between you and the monster. Which is also, it's kind of risk and reward. Because if you mess up the demon flight, you're dead. If you succeed, you are half and half safe. Because if the monster, for example, if you do demon flight on Apex Azurus, you will iframe one of the first claw. But the second is gonna touch you, and then the third one, and then the fourth one. It's it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I I'm telling you, it's not that easy. It's it's not that easy because being mid air, and also one thing I noticed when I was doing the speed run with Dova. Um, Demon Flight is a uh, gives you negative flinch free. Basically, um, for example, let me give you an example. Um, Valstrax has a biting attack, a simple biting attack. If you have um, flinch free level 3, you won't budge, but it will drop your HP. If you have flinch free level 2, it, you will budge. With Dew Blade, even if you have flinch free level 3, if you are in the air and Valstrax does that, it will literally push you to the other side of the map <laughs> for no reason. When you are in the air, it's like your fl flinch free doesn't exist anymore because you're in the air. Even when you do axe hopper, it does the same thing. So that's all I want to remove. If you think that demon flight is that easy, best believe it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not easy. It, it's not easy. That's what I'm saying. I will be honest. I hate demon flight. I, I hate demon flight. Yeah. I honestly hate. I despise demon flight. I hate it so much. But like I said, it's like counter mob slash. What are you gonna do? There's no saying that. There's no choice. It's that or it's not that. So what can I do? But honestly, well, I hate demon flight. I honestly hate demon flight because I will. I prefer being on the ground and evade than having to iframe and then stand in the air waiting for my doom, <laughs> my imminent doom. So he just you know, um if you break this case this is closer to our feet. No dream but I won't switch. Oh uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna do it. Dream I don't work for that either. Yeah it is what it is. It is what it is. The choice is don't play Dubli lol. I cannot play Dubli. Me I always play Dubli. It doesn't matter the game. For example, Shade is here. Ask Shade. Shade talked to me about Dauntless. And what is the one of the questions I asked him? Is there a weapon that looks like Dual Blade? I, any game that I play, 
I always take something that looks like dual blades ever since I started playing video games. Dual blade has always been uh, my favorite weapon in any game. Even if the game doesn't have dual blade, I will make it happen. For example, Elden Ring, I'm using sometimes double katana. Um, even though I don't like the katana, but I'm using double katana or double swords. It just I like having two swords. I don't like having one. I like two swords. <laughs> two swords is better than one. So it, any game, if there is a game and there is an option for two swords, I pick it. I, I pick it immediately. That's how it is. I don't think as long as it's two swords, I'm in. You you sold like I'm sold. So Geoblade is just Geoblade. Geoblade is Geoblade. For me, that's how it is. It doesn't matter how cool the weapons in the game are. If there is dual blade, I don't look at the rest. I don't look. There can there can even be like a one shot weapon in the game. I will take the dual blade option because I just like having two swords in the end. I just like it. I like having two swords. One sword is boring. Two swords is better. I like having two swords. I mean, I was playing Elden Ring with Dova. Sometimes, even with the great sword. I use two great swords for no reason. Even if my loadout is heavy, I don't care. I like having two swords. I don't know. Having one sword is wrong for me. When I hold two swords, that's when I know it's I'm I'm at the peak of my of my build. <laughs> I like two swords. But yeah, um so yeah, I di I don't use dual blade for the sake of like dual blade is my favorite weapon in Rise or whatever. Nah, I use dual blade because I like two swords basically. There is nothing special about dual blade. I mean, my favorite weapon can be anything. In most of the in most hunter, my favorite weapon can be anything. But in any game, dual blade is my favorite. If there is an option for it, of course. If there is no, well, there's nothing I can do. But yeah, dual blade is just dual blade. I just like having two blades. I mean, why settle for one when you can have two? Lord. And like I said, dual blade is the sexiest weapon. I mean, look at the movement. Like, I mean, look at the movement. There's a reason why, like, uh, Usui Tengen is a genius. My guy has three wives and he used dual blades. He understand me. He understand me. Dual blades, it's, I don't know. I don't know what I can explain more. Like, look at the movement. Look at the movement. Like, this is just so beautiful. It's like a dance. It's like a dance in a ballet or whatever. And the pause, look at that, like nice. Oh, the demon mode. Look at that, she's gonna do something. She's gonna do something. It's coming. Do it. Like, usually, she will, she will cross this world. When you leave it a little bit, she will cross, cross this world, damn it. She's not. Usually, she will cross this world. Why is she holding? Oh, maybe I need to be in demon mode. Yeah, now cross this world. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes, she crossed this world. You need to be in demon mode to do that. And she will cross this world. Yeah. Man, how can you see that and be like, nah, I'm not gonna use dual blade. Dude! How can you see that and be like, nah, I'm good, I'm not gonna use dual blades, lol.
Nice. Man, I will never get tired of Jubrate. It's impossible. <laughs> I will never get tired of Jubrate. It's impossible. Impossible. But yeah, I will leave the stream at that. Um, but it was a fun discussion though. It was fun. Today we had a lot of discussion. If only all the streams were like that. If only. If only. But yeah, fun discussion that was good. <sighs> Jubilees. The number one weapon. Remember that. Well, see you guys. I don't know who is still here, but see you, man. Stay blessed, guys. See you tomorrow for Switch. So, people who couldn't join, we will see you tomorrow. Probably not the same time, but like, we will see. I will see. I will see. I'm gonna probably program it so that you guys can see in advance the time, but yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you guys. Uh, bon appetit to those who are eating, and uh, uh, I don't know. And good night to those who are going to sleep, I guess. <laughs> uh, Shady, if you're still here, thanks for hanging around. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow.